pan down from the twin suns of Tatooine. Uh, we are now close on the mouth of the Sarlacc pit. After a beat, the gloved Mandalorian armor gauntlet of Boba Fett grabs onto the sand outside the Sarlacc pit, and the feared bounty hunter pulls himself from the maw of the sand beast. Okay, this is and exactly... And we realize uh, that he survived his fall uh, during the battle at Jabba's uh, palace ship. We ready to roll? <sighs> Broadcasting live from the internet, it's Tuesday night, and this is the Panels on Pages podcast. Big boys playing with big toys. This is quality content. The boomers are into it. Hey, man, I just show up. With your host, Lee Rodriguez. Uh, I am a visionary. Like, oh, you have a podcast? I'm like, no, no, that's not me. That's somebody else. Jason Nyes. Yeah, sure. I'm not getting any vegetables in my diet. I'm just a thick boy. Jose Guzman. Is Jose on the show tonight? He says he's coming. It's like Elton John all over again, just minus the death threats. Kelly Harris. Reach your hand in your pants there, big boy. That's not me. I don't sound like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and our good buddy Mahoney. And hey, Mahoney's here. What's up, Mahoney? We can do just glorious, wonderful things on our phones, people. No one's ever done anything like this before. It's going to be massive. It's going to be great. I mean, obviously, I think it'll be great. And it's all killer, no filler. My seat's on fire. You take so hot. Come on. It's so good. It's pretty good. It's there. It's reliable. You know what you're getting every single time. Man, I'm so glad you found us. You're all terrible people, and I'm glad you're my friend. <laughs> Put that in the intro. <laughs> That's really funny. Over 500 episodes, and you'd think they'd have the hang of it by now. It seems like the concept that would run its course very quickly. What's going on? Happy New Year, fools. Today is Tuesday, January 4th, 2022. And this is episode number 583 of the Panels on Pages podcast. I'm your host, the Lord Reverend Lee Rodriguez. Joining me tonight, we have Mr. Jason Nyes. Why are you wet? Uh, Jose Guzman. If Lee's the new me, then who am I? Who is any of us? Uh, Kelly Harris is here. I have become obsessed with cooking meat over fire. <laughs> I get prepared for it. I make sure I'm hungry before I cook it. The smell of the smoke and the aroma of the crackling meat ignites some ancient genetic memories. It makes cooking and eating significantly better. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Phenomenal. <laughs> Whoa, sorry. I braked a little early there. No, that was perfect. <laughs> that, was, that was timed like you planned it. That's the next. In, that's the new intro. <laughs> oh, and Mahoney's here. What's up, Mahoney? Uh, I 100% thought Kelly was just really into grilling. <laughs> <laughs> you, you forgot about Joe Rogan I did. You food? know what? At the start, it really <laughs> sounded like something you would say. <laughs> Joe Rogan discovering food. <laughs> Basically. Oh, Wild God. shit, you guys. I love when he's like, I wait till I'm hungry. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Joe Rogan, that's an interesting take on eating. Wait till you're hungry. Wow. You're the only one who ever thought of that. <laughs> hey, if some of us waited until we were hungry to eat, we wouldn't look like we do, okay? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. So, had a couple weeks off. Hope everybody had a good break. Uh, I'm coming off of... Uh, this was my my first day back to work uh, in a, just about a week too, so I'm really riding high that that double double flag, yeah. as they say. Yeah, uh, it's fine though; it's all good. The place didn't burn down without me. Uh, that's the good part about working with a competent team is that I know when I come back that it's not going to be a dumpster fire, which is amazing. I've never had that before in a job. It's very exciting. <laughs> Imagine that. I don't it's think I can. It's been, Two days dreading going back because of the shit storm we're going to walk into. It's a good time. Uh, we had some uh, just nice stay-at-home adventures. It was cool. Let's just just chill. Christmas was a win all around. Got lots of cool toys. The kids all liked their shit. The missus liked her stuff. It was, it was wonderful. It was great. Uh, are we going to hear about party. some of those toys later, Lee? Oh, we just might, Kelly. We just might. 
Now, why uh, would that gonna... be? Oh, because we're talking about the top six toys of 2021, fool! What? Yeah, it's right there in the. If you downloaded it or you're watching, you see, you see it in the name of the episode. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, it's it's, it's, mild, it's mild spoilers. We're oh doing the goodness. YouTuber thing where we tease the thing that's already in the title. Yep. Now make sure to click oh, no, the so bell so you get a notification whenever we go live. I see. We and uh, go sla- and slap a again. like and subscribe for your homies and. Um, you know, we got to go back and restart the show. And now, before episode, every episode, buy some go, bang energy. Podcast episode five eighty four <laughs> starts now, and then the yeah. intro starts. So it works. Spider Monday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Zoe had a little Christmas party for some of her friends, uh, and I was asked to leave the house. When that oh, happened. is that, that when she got into ska? Everybody. <laughs> she's, she's it's so cool that she's into ska now. <laughs> The look on her face when I said that to her the other day, and then I proceeded to play some ska. Like, <laughs> I'm surprised you guys didn't physically feel it. <laughs> like, she was so not into it. She's like, your friends are fucking the worst. Like, yeah, I know. Uh, she shouldn't be skanking in the snow. I don't, I don't know. No <laughs> well, I, do, I do think we're ahead of the curve. I do think ska is going to have a gen z resurgence at some point mm-hmm. oh it's all coming back it all oh yeah the kids back. are gonna love ska because they're yeah. all fucking band dorks yeah pretty much yeah, yeah we do have some, yeah you know, kelly said it we do have some snow on the ground it's been a real fucking wild few days weather wise uh last week i had to turn the air conditioning back on because we're damn near 80 <laughs> uh, then a couple days ago we uh we're all bracing hunkered down for more tornadoes uh then the next day we got six inches of snow it's like, all right, this this is all fine. The planet <laughs> like, is just fine. Yeah, this is nothing to be concerned about. Like, this is all totally normal shit. It's gonna be fine. That's real chill. The world, the whole thing's <laughs> fucked. Literally chill. Yeah, the whole thing's fucked. But yeah, the uh, originally the plan was, you know, get me out of the house for a little while, mostly so I could get Jacks out of the house. So he wouldn't be up the big kids' asses, and they kind of have a good time or whatever. And then when I got back and I started seeing, you know, Jax is just trying to fight all of her friends. <laughs> Viva uh, Jax! Yeah, literally that. Yeah, line them up. I'll take them on one at a time. <laughs> one There's at a time. One kid that comes over. This, this one kid that comes. He's great. This kid's fucking awesome. He's a super good sport with Jax. It's, it doesn't make any sense because, like, I would have told that little kid to get fucked if I was. Do him. I have a picture of him on my phone? <laughs> I don't think you do. No. <laughs> okay, you definitely don't. All right. That's uh, really don't don't say things like that, Mahoney. That's, <laughs> that's that's gonna be used in a court case. Someday. Is he yeah. in my <laughs> game <laughs> folder? I need to know. These are the matters. No. Uh, yeah, so, you know, you're gonna get, get the house. right the fuck back off. <laughs> but then I get home and I start seeing videos and photos of the hijinks that is super love is gone. And I think both Nicole and I thought at the exact same time, "Oh, it's good you weren't here for this," because it was it was very loud. And oh, was, they make was, slime. Oh god! No, they make slime. They were just making lots of noise and having lots of joy, and ugh, <laughs> ugh awful. It brings me down. Yeah, it's, it's so hype, it's so loud, screaming and yelling, and doing the dirty dancing dance. And one of the boys was throwing the other boy around. <laughs> it, was, it was a whole thing. Yeah, was, um, I know <laughs> it's <laughs> that for real. Okay. Yeah, for real. I know it's 2022 and all that, but what's what's up with the the boy girl ratio at this party at your house? Uh, it's an extremely. Uh, Sausage festy party, mm-hmm. which I have feelings about. Mm-hmm. Uh, the problem is that, generally speaking, high school girls are the fucking worst, and my high school girl knows it. Uh, uh, good point. Good point. It, yeah, but she has also had to hard friend zone some of these kids already. Oh yeah, like, oh, all of them are in love with her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, one of them just flat out like stop being her friend because she was like, "That's not going to happen." That's not. I used to, you know, she was nice about it. She was like, I, "You know, I don't." You know, we, that's not gonna happen. Like I don't see that way. Like I just want to be friends. And he was like, "Okay, cool, deuces," and just stop talking to her. <laughs> so well, real fucking. You almost kid. prefer that than him sticking around trying to change your mind for five. Yeah, years. Mm, yeah. And also, yeah, in, in the like, long run, it's healthier for both of them. When, when you yeah. probably go out on a limb and and make that move, and you don't get the result you're looking for, like, is there coming back from that? Yeah, I yeah, I kind of understand it. Like, I'm not mad about it. I, I get it. I really do. That boy was willing to yeah. willing to risk it all. And then she was like, nope. 
<laughs> this kid is not trying to date anybody right now, and I'm okay with it. Yeah. Well, that's better than him, like, but I love you. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. You will be mine. She should but... have to, the kids should have to fight Jax before he can date her. Yeah. Like, if you can best Fuck Jax, him. then you're allowed to take, <laughs> take the her on a date. Throw the gauntlet down? Yeah. And I'm oh a guy. If you tell him those are the fucking stakes, it's going to be violent. Yeah. <laughs> so violent. And then yeah. if they beat Jax, they have... he gets a Kit Kat. This, it's going to be violent. <laughs> also, that. You just, the kid walks in the room, and there's Jax just putting a broken glass all over his gluey hands. <laughs> Didn't even bother to tape him up. He's just <laughs> gluing glass. <laughs> gluey hands. <laughs> oh shit! So speaking of horrible high school girls, uh, she's making oh, this play yesterday. Gluey hands. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, uh, yesterday was the last official day of their break. They had a snow day today, obviously, but yesterday was the last day of their break. So she's like, "I'm gonna have this kid over," you know. And they're kind of like the uh, they used to hang out a little bit when they were younger, but shit kind of fell apart. And Nicole's very untrusting of this kid, and I'm like, maybe we shouldn't hold this kid responsible for things that she did when she was nine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh maybe we give this kid another fucking shot and she's like i guess but uh nah i don't like her to, so she's on her way here right with her dad broken home divorced parents so the dad's on the way here with her when the kid's mom texts nicole and she's like hey uh just you know wondering did uh she mention i have covid oh good <laughs> and i'm like well, you can tell that kid to turn the fuck around. <laughs> She's no longer. She is uninvited. Fucking yeah. dummy. Like, no, she can't come over. And you should see Zoe's like, Zoe's face was, I gave this bitch a chance. <laughs> 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 and she, she was going to come over and bring COVID into my house. <laughs> like, nice try. This was her plan all along. I'll get you fuckers back. Yeah. Fucking Gotta ridiculous. appreciate the long game. Uh, oh, last little nugget I'll share before moving on with my my beautiful kind-hearted daughter. So, my lady got me for Christmas the Holiday Gomez 112 figure from the Roach guy. From no more Tisha. No more Tisha. <laughs> Just a little Gomez. And so, you know, he's got some Christmassy stuff. He's got his uh, like a Christmas sweater and like a little, little trapper hat and all this stuff, whatever. It's awesome. I'm like, alright, cool. This is great. But he needs he needs a year round look, so I went online. I bought him a different shirt. So I took off his sweater, put on his t shirt, and his the, he came with like a little puffer jacket. So I put his puffy coat on. And I'm like, oh, this is fucking dope. And Zoe comes in asking for something. I'm like, oh, hey, check this out. You know, he needed a year round look. Blah 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 blah. I got him a little puffer jacket. Cool, great, right? Check it out. And she goes, oh god. She's like, I never thought I'd see the day when I'd walk in and just catch a plane with dolls, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, hey, fuck you. This isn't a doll. And she goes, Dad, when it has a cute little jacket, it's a doll. <laughs> I'll check out that fucking ska band. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, yeah, this want? guy absolutely looks like he's going to hit the mosh pit and skank. <laughs> pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> yeah, she's like, if it has a cute little jacket, Dad, it's a doll. <laughs> like, you fucking asshole. She's not wrong. I mean, you know. She'll get you a Christmas cro- cockroach, but you can't get those Christmas gremlins? Come on. Oh, I, I saw the they had the Christmas gremlins at Walmart the other day, and I'm like, oh, I should just sneak these in. And she'll you never sh- know, right? You should have. You should have. I think we got one more year, if we're lucky, uh, with Jax and the whole Santa elf thing. So I think... The elf and Gomez is gonna get the shenanigans next year. <laughs> It'll be kind of fun. Hell good yeah. way to go out. I don't know why. I thought you were gonna say I got another good year before Nicole wants to move again. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> nope. He doesn't have a year. She's already nope. like this house is smaller than I thought when we first toured it. Yeah, Gomez and the elf nope. on the shelf should go on a crime spree. They just might. Oh, reenact. Just, no, you do to that elf what everybody dreams of, and you like flush him down the toilet. Like, <laughs> I can't wait for that thing to go away forever. We 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 don't have much, man. He's the, he's he's clever. 
and he's starting to ask questions. He's just a few times this season he was like, "There's some fucking holes in this story." <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know about this. Yeah, and I'm like, "All right, that's kind of sad. Whatever, but let's pull the fucking bandaid off." And Nicole's like, "Don't you fucking dare!" <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, "Okay." Like, think about how less complicated it'll all be. She said, "Don't you fucking dare!" I'm like, I guess I won't fucking dare then. Okay. Just plan out over the the time of the month and reenact natural born killers each day. <laughs> the, the entirety of the movie over December uh, with in Gomez. The, in the spirit of the, the season. Uh, very yeah, we gotta, you know, pick pick very one toy to Christmas stay alive at the end. Yeah. Fucking love it. Well no, it's Jax who oh, gets to nice. stay alive. I guess that's true. Yeah. No, you you have them holding a picture of them holding a gun to his head while he's sleeping. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, With yeah. like uh, today's newspaper. We did have the elf take selfies with Jax while he was sleeping with his tablet one day. Hell oh, yeah, love it. And that's... I'm like, I'm like, honey, this is kind of terrifying. And she's like, ah, he'll be into it. Luckily, he was. <laughs> yeah. Not flipping on him, have him holding the gun. <laughs> If we did the same thing with Zoe, she would have lost her fucking mind because she was always a little creeped out by him. Oh yeah, I <laughs> she remember. Would not have been okay with that. Yeah, she you used to do some fucked up shit to Zoe with that elf. <laughs> well, that was our one chance. Nothing's better than the time we had him. Like uh... <laughs> nothing in the world is better than when we had him wrapped around the shower head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and she was looking for him all day. <laughs> Can't find him. And so she goes to get to the shower and she just screams like there's an axe murderer in the bathroom. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Little oh, sex pervert. That was one of the best days of my life. <laughs> and now she's like, here, playing with dolls, Dad. <laughs> Little asshole. <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> well, oh, listening live because we're already going to talk about toys. <laughs> oh, God. Great. Well, I uh, mentioned it nice? a few weeks ago when we started work on the wall and door in Mary's office. And because it was basically my parents' Christmas present to Mary is is this wall, this, this office remodel to where, you know, her office is previously like a dining room. And, uh, you know, she could hear me and Zoe all day. She, you know, she works from home, so she needed a little privacy. So the plan was put up this wall, put some double doors in it. Bing, bang, boom. She got a fucking office now. We didn't take into consideration that uh, since my dad's doing a lot of the work, you know, and he's he's back working a regular job now. Like, he can't just fucking come over whenever. So it's we've been doing this job in weekend increments. So we did Oof. the framing, the drywall. Yeah, I got the... a, uh, I got an unfinished section of uh, patio out back. I get it. <laughs> Same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, this past week, between Christmas and New Year's, I spent uh, painting the entire office. Well, Mary did some as well. Uh, I appreciated her help. Uh, and we're not completely done yet. We still got to put up some crown molding. We do some little odds and ends here, but she has a door now, or she has a wall, she has a door, and she could not shut that door quick enough to block <laughs> us out on Monday morning when she was back to work. So that's cool. It looks great. I, that's the way it's supposed to be. Yep. Yeah. But uh, it has really kind of fucked up the whole household because we've been working on that, painting every night during the week. She, we she's kind of only using half of her office and then most of her office has been emptied out into other parts of the house zoe's not allowed in there when we're working on it so she's been pissing because she's mad at us mad. it'll be nice when uh everything's back to normal even though the back to normal now is there's a wall and a door and more reasons to piss Zoe off and make her pee in the house. <laughs> it's like you trying to keep me out. I will show you. I will show you what's up. But that's yes, cool. for new listeners. Uh, the Knights of Dog has the same name as my daughter. Yes. <laughs> uh, the the better he story. He built the thing. She got pissed. She went down there, played some scum music, <laughs> peed in front of the office. 
The better story was that we named our dog after your daughter, but no, this dog already had that name. <laughs> right. You know, we, we couldn't take her name away from her, even though it was probably given to her at random in some uh, adoption agency. Anyhow, um, Boko Boba Fett came out this past week, <laughs> and it was yeah, super it cool. Um, I guess I w- hadn't really paid attention to... Like who was behind it? I had I had kind of assumed it was a separate thing, but no, it's all the same guys from Mandalorian. Fucking Robert Rodriguez directed it. Favreau, I will, Filoni. I will never be convinced that it was not supposed to be the next season of the Mandalorian. Right. You'll never convince me otherwise. I I could agree with that, but hey, like I'll Mandalorian take it. hit harder than they thought, and they were like, "Oh shit, we have to spin this off into its own thing. We can't." Mm-hmm. We can't just stop this story. <laughs> yeah. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, see, I guess you know you could be right, but you know the show is the Mandalorian, not a Mandalorian. <laughs> yeah, I think that it was a Mandalorian. Like I think that the thing was not just one Mandalorian. I think it was going to be no, I, yeah. an anthology. Isn't the plural of Mandalorian? I think you're right. It very well could be the plural of Mandalorian is Mandalorian. You like, may be the baby right Yoda storyline ended. Like that shit yeah. ended. Yeah. And even the next part, picking up with the dark saber and all that, like that comes in a season about that blue girl. Blue girl. So, yeah, the, the, one the, with the chick blue in the blue armor, armor. not. Yeah. Uh, oh, Bo Katan. Oh, I thought you were talking about that yeah. uh, hentai VHS I watched when I was seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> What that that held the key to everything? Before I even knew what hentai was, I'm like, oh, this is weird, <laughs> but I enjoy it. <laughs> like I am into this. Uh, I I'm really like here. Book of Update. Boba Fett. Like it's yeah, it, pretty it, cool. it feels different enough from Mandalorian, but it still hits those same like taste buds. And the yeah. the music is great. Uh, he's kind of badass in it. Everything and, looks cool. You know, it just. Since Return of the Jedi, for anybody that has any knowledge of Boba Fett, like you've imagined what that scene would look like. Like it's been in comics. You know, we led the show tonight with the Pat Oswald uh, filibuster, which describes Boba Fett getting out of the Sarlacc pit. But you always kind of had it in your mind, and man, it really lived up to the hype. Did you see the side by side? Yeah, but it's like, Both. you know, that Pat Oswalt filibuster took cues from, like, the fucking comic books where the, oh, this shit sure. has already happened. So it's not like it's Pat just Oswalt how it came should up be. With, yeah, exactly. The but fact it is that fun the, watching, watching it happen. The stomach acid was melting his armor and then the sand stuck to it. Oh, that's was cool. Yeah, he just, he just looked like he was in a lot of pain through every single second of those flashbacks. You know, it's kind of fucked up if you think about it, though. Uh, first episode of last season of Mandalorian, we get the story of how Cobb Vanth came upon the armor. And it was because he had escaped his little town, Mo- uh, uh, Mos Pelgo. And he's trying to get help. And he passed out in the middle of the desert and the Jawas rolled up. And saved him, and then uh, he bought the armor from them. I, I think that that was the sequence of events. But well, now, we've, now we the, see how they get it. But with Boba Fett, they just stripped him like a fucking <laughs> Oldsmobile and left him there to die. I I watched that out loud. Watching that scene, I just said, "Fucking Jawas are the worst. <laughs> 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 the fucking worst." Man, they do what they do. It's been working for him. Just as a species and a culture, just dog shit. This is a job. <laughs> Selling hot merch. Fucking great. Highly recommend. Check it out. You guys still there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're here. Yeah. <laughs> We're here. What's yeah, up, just Lee? Wait, just wait, wait. How was your uh, weekend? I'm good. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Pitch it back to you. <laughs> Tell us more about this I, party. I did party. I'm, Curveball, I'm... motherfucker. <laughs> Come on, make more week. 
make more weak bits. Those <laughs> talk. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, me and the lady did some puzzling, and whenever we puzzle, we some you know want to put something on that we don't have to pay too much attention to. So we're like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's rewatch Witcher season one. Part two just came out. Let's fucking do it. So we binged season one, watched season two, and watched the cartoon. And I I dig it. Because I do a pretty good interpretation of a little bit of everywhere. I've never read the books, but they take heavily from the books. Uh, I've played Witcher 3 out of all the games. That's the only one I've played, but I played the shit out of that one. And now they're starting to introduce some some elements of that, which they've slowly been bringing in. Um, it's fucking great. The cartoon, yeah. like like season two, they keep referencing, you know, we can't make Witchers anymore. We can't make Witchers anymore. You know, there's not much of us left, this and that. And then the cartoon shows you why. They oh, can't okay. Make That's cool. Witchers anymore. So you kind of, I guess I would recommend watching it after you watch season two. Okay. So it kind of leaves all these questions. And then when you watch it back, you're like, oh, shit, that's what they were talking about. Oh, that's the answers. I think that's the order it came out. No. No, the no, cartoon, cartoon, cartoon was ago. in between. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if you watch it the other way around, it's not going to like, you know, nothing. I just can't happen. get over the fact that Mahoney watches The Witcher. I sure do, that, Lee. Like, yeah, that, that kind of blows my fucking through. mind. Like that that's a show that requires you to fucking take notes, much less pay attention. No, it's fine. There's there's four people. Uh well, I'm gonna say three people because I forgot the one guy's name from yesterday. Well, yeah, but the people is fine. Like people is fine, right? Forget the people part of it. Like yeah. the timeline of how they present that first season is like hard oh, yeah. to track oh, the first when you're just watching the whole thing. Disaster for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a real oh, well, I thought that season one. Yeah, no. None of that works. But season two is much more straightforward. At least I think. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. It's... Which it is. Season two is. There's Yennefer, who's just, you know, chilling. And then there's the singing dude. And then my buddy Gerald just shows up and is like, I, there's a monster. And then there's a bunch of sword noises. And then the episode ends. Eh? Or or it starts that way. Sometimes it starts off with the yeah. monster. Every now and then you get to see a boob. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Glorious wonder. I love the fucking sword fights in that show. Yeah. Uh, they sound great. There's like a little behind the scenes that I watched on it. And what they do is the sword's not full. Like it's like a three quarter or a half oh, side of the weapon. Okay. So that next time when you rewatch it, watch the edges of the blades, and and you'll start to see it. Kind of like once you fit, so once you to, found. So he, to, so he doesn't have to pull his punches. He can flow right. through the whole move. Exactly. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So that so that the, it flows better. They don't have to worry about accidentally clanking or accidentally yeah, yeah, hitting yeah. the guy because you have more space. Cut in a weird way. Yeah. 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 That's so, clever. And then they add those later. So that was really cool. Uh, I do recommend watching some of the behind the scenes because, again, it's awesome. What? Because, number one, obviously, Henry Cavill's a fucking nerd. We all know that. He's a huge fucking gamer and he loved the game. He went and told them, he met like the people, I'm playing Geralt. I am Gerald. <laughs> Look at me. Yeah, I was like, I am the Gerald. Gerald. What, are you, what are you doing? So, and then the showrunners, when you watch some of this behind the scenes of season one and two, they love the characters. It's kind of like Mandalorian. Like everyone involved loves the characters, respect the source material, and huh. having and a so blast putting good. the shit out. Yeah, imagine and that. Listen to them talk <laughs> about it. Good. They have a fucking plan. Like this does not sound like we're doing one season and then we're making it up as we go. Like they know where they're taking this, which is good. Like they know what they want to do. So just let them do it and let's fucking go with this thing. Now, what I was disappointed in is they do have two that is the monsters of season 1. Um very disappointed in that. 
because it's delivered like you're watching someone's YouTube video. It's like he's talking like he did the research and this and that. It's not when you watch the other ones, they're like an official presented behind the scenes. Right. Look. So I wasn't expecting some guy like tossing his own jokes around. And he's, you know, when we talk to the showrunner, blah, 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 or it was on record that he has said this. It's like, like, I thought that the, it was going to be a more in-depth Here's the monster we picked. Here's some history behind it. Here's why we chose it. Here's where we took it from. This is the part of the game. It was like, yeah. but instead le- a legit it was kind of monster detail thing. So top those... six monsters on the Witcher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Not uh... the well that ate Janet and put her in a well. <laughs> Not a fan of that. But the other behind the scenes recommend. And the show recommend. It's fucking brilliant. I did watch that. Uh, they did. There's like that 15 minute recap that shows in a chronological order that was kind of cool. Yeah. It's like a, I watched that the other day to kind of get me prepped for season two. And it, I it was after I watched that. And again, I watched the show and like eventually kind of you know you as you're watching it, you piece it together and realize what's happening. Like, oh, okay, this is not happening in the order that we're seeing it. Okay, great. Yeah. And you know. It, it hit me again as I'm watching that little recap. I'm like, how the fuck did Mahoney watch this show? <laughs> like, it defies all logic. Yeah, you really got to pay attention to know what the fuck is happening on Let that. Let me tell you, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you have a, you have a great time whether you pay attention or not. And Mahoney's like, I don't know. Gerald got married and left a kid. I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, whatever. I'll tell you what, this season ends with a big, like, like shocking review. It's, remember in Game of Thrones when I stopped watching Game of Thrones because a season ended and some dude kicked through a door and it was, like, obviously a big moment. And I was like, I don't know who that person is <laughs> or what he's talking about. <laughs> and, like, this season ended and they were like, ta-da. And I was like, all right. <laughs> cool. Was that uh, Hodor's brother kick door? <laughs> yeah. Might as well the, been. the one thing that is a little jarring, but you get used to it, is the last time you watched The Witcher, Siri was young. But then COVID and pushbacks and delays filming and that and whatever. So now we come back and like puberty has come and gone. <laughs> She's still supposed to be like the character is still supposed to be young. But it oh, is. Well, that's. That's well, not how I watched will... it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this goes back to you talking about having those pictures on your phone, Mahoney. Those <laughs> pictures like, of boys uh, in your phone. How, 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 how young? How, how young? <laughs> that's some that's some Riverdale shit right there. <laughs> what is this character's name? You, you're having Siri. a real sex pervert night, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's God going damn. on. When uh, we don't have a show next week, and we're doing a Kickstarter for bail. Maybe we're all the new Jose. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, so, Lee, tremendous. tell me about your weekend. Uh, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, shit. What's going on, Kelly? How was your holiday? Uh, it was good. Christmas morning, I woke up uh, by punching myself in the balls. Fuck. <laughs> tradition yeah yeah i don't know how i did it but i know it woke my woke me up from a dream i was having did where someone was screaming happy new year no they were telling me about uh the new matrix movie and how there's a character named roy pasta <laughs> and oh, then that I, sounds I, I punched myself in the nuts and woke up because you <laughs> needed fuck? out of the dream i don't know <laughs> i don't know all I know is I woke up and my balls hurt and I just rolled over and went back to sleep. <laughs> That's what you do. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hop back you in that up, dream and says, let's the go, go, You're killing it. <laughs> let's go, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Roy Pasta? Yeah. <laughs> so if anyone's seen The Matrix, let, uh, let me know if there's a character named Roy Pasta in it. Send in your picture of Matrix characters you think 
fit <laughs> the best Roy Pasta. I don't know. I don't know if the Matrix Resurrections would have a character named Roy Pasta in it because the Matrix Resurrections is cinema purely for the most advanced, brilliant minds to enjoy. So Roy Pasta just does not jive. What's with more that. enjoyable than pasta? <laughs> that one's a better first name than Roy. <laughs> I mean, I know Lee doesn't like pasta, but still. I was about to say, literally every other food. Remember that time Lee was like, they don't have pasta in Japan. <laughs> No, we're all like, Wait, what the what? fuck's wrong with you? What a weird thing to say, Lee. <laughs> we were talking about Japan tonight and maybe going in a couple of years. And Nicole was like, he's got to get me to McDonald's. And I go, I get you to McDonald's. And apparently pasta is a huge thing over there. So get you some fucking spaghetti. She was yeah. like, oh, good. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. Tell Nicole the first meal I ate when I was there was McDonald's. Because I was like, I know what this is. I'm just so fucking <laughs> tired. I want to go and order chicken nuggies and then go to bed. <laughs> Look, I'm sure that McDonald's in Japan is totally fine. But, like, come on, Nicole. You're in Japan. Yeah. Yeah, no, McDonald's is good for, again, I'm about to fall asleep, but I need yeah. some food. I've been on a plane for 20 hours. <laughs> Man. Nicole's not adventurous with her food. Never has been. Never will be. So that will always be a challenge of going somewhere exotic on the globe it's always gonna be a problem doesn't she like like sushi nope no oh she likes she likes a like a shrimp tempura roll a shrimp wrapped in rice basically yeah and you know where i bet the best ones in the world are japan <laughs> <laughs> to be fair they probably also have some great mcdonald's yeah but like just like you know she likes you know homemade tacos with ortega and shit like that and taco bell but she doesn't like eating like you know Real tacos off a taco truck. Oh, white people like, taco night. Actual Mexicans. Oh. Yeah, that's why you hate that song. Night. We got some taco <laughs> shells from the grocery yeah. store. We got yeah. Ortega <laughs> sauce from the grocery store. I tell you what, <laughs> no meal hits quite like the Burger King Big Boss Burger <laughs> from Delhi, India, when we were there that one time. Fuck yeah. That was... The raddest Burger King trip of all time. Yeah, shout out to India Fast Food. You guys do it right. I it's might have fun. put it's down. It's fun to go to chains where it's like, okay, what's well, different? I might have put yeah. down thirty five hundred calories in that one meal. And Jesus also, Christ! Uh, Nod of the uh, tip of the cap to the greatest name of all time, spicy chicken. Okay. <laughs> 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 that was Bangladesh, right? Yeah. In the food court. <laughs> Spicy chicken, okay? And then the one that had the uh, Facebook thumbs up as their logo. Well, they had the Facebook thumbs up and the Facebook font. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at a Okay, at a burger joint? No, no. This joint? was in the mall in food Bangladesh. Court. Okay. Where, where they did the comic card. Pretty much how it goes there is, come tell me I can't do this. <laughs> because <laughs> i'm doing it until you yeah come tell me send you your lawyers burger king you come pull this fucking sign down yourself until that happens spicy chicken okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking tremendous uh, but yeah the uh break treated me well had a good christmas had a good new year's and just been working living life snowed here but not too bad fucking snow awful any animals really die, de- dead in that snow that you're gonna shovel up after it melts you will no well there <laughs> did the squirrel die before That's a new our segment, break Kelly and them woods uh, you have definitely recently talked about throwing a squirrel in the trash can yeah but I can't remember on if I did it on here or not uh, we have definitely heard about it. I don't. I'm. I'm pretty sure you told it on the on the okay. show. Okay. So yeah, that was the only thing was the throwing the squirrel in the garbage after it uh <laughs> got flung into the house at like 65 miles an hour, probably when we were having <laughs> crazy <Christ>. winds. <laughs> Uh, Just imagine <laughs> the wind like pulling back a tree branch, like a catapult. 
whipping a squirrel. <laughs> I guess all squirrels can fly if you throw them fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was like in his full nest too. Oh no. Yeah. So I all I kind of think he might have been dead before he might have just died in the nest. I. Yeah, or he died in a total you gotta panic. Tell yourself to feel better. Yeah. I think he was grabbing that nest for dear life, flying <laughs> through the air like fucking Dorothy, <laughs> screaming as he went. This squirrel, David Carradine himself. <laughs> uh, he's like, it's okay. He didn't die from the traumatic blunt force of the of the crash. He actually jerked himself off and strangled himself to death. Tree. Took off his little squirrel belt, pulled down his little squirrel <laughs> pants, <laughs> wrapped his squirrel belt around his neck, tied it up to the top of a squirrel closet, and went to town. <laughs> I love the trope in uh, cartoons where if like a a an animal character has to take off their clothes. They basically just take off their fur as if it was a pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Whew. All right, what's up, Mahoney? How oh my, it's all already my week. And all that family. Uh, so I watched The Matrix. Yeah. Let me tell you, Lee. Uh, was Roy Pasta the in Witcher, there? You think The Witcher was a hard time? The Matrix was a very difficult time for me. I did not enjoy myself at all. Did, was it because Roy punched you in the nuts? <laughs> it was. I didn't get any punches to the nuts. I think Will at one point stepped on my nuts, but I didn't get any punches to them at least. Maybe this will have concentration, Dad. Die. The Matrix is definitely not for me, uh, Lee. I almost called you Will. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, now you so, got to step on his me, balls. Is you... <laughs> Uh, so you don't understand high art avant-garde cinema. Huh? I You're absolutely do not. Dummy? Mahoney just do a big dumb dumb. Absolutely. Big fucking dummy. <laughs> not big for me. Dance. Could not care less about that movie. Uh, so, oh well. Which means it has been, when did the original Matrix come out? 1999? Yes. It's been 23 years since I saw a Matrix movie I liked. So I think I can give up on the Matrix movies. <laughs> yeah, probably. You've given them more than enough chances. Yeah. But yeah, I watched that. I watched The Witcher. I watched... Uh... Oh, oh, I know what I watched. Here we go. I watched every single one of the Fast and the Furious movies, Lee. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Why? Ten of them. Because let me That's tell you... That's a lot. They're fucking amazing. If you had you never seen them before? I had or... never seen them. I okay. had never seen them. I had seen Fast and the Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw, but I had never seen a single Fast and the Furious movie other than that. The last one I saw is the one I think Paul Walker was in it, mm-hmm. and it's when they're like they're flying through that tunnel, like trying to get from Mexico to America, like in a tunnel or something. Like that's the last one I remember. I don't really remember a tunnel. All Are that you much. thinking about the bank? I think that vault? was four. That Lee? was the one that um, his girl came back on. Yeah, it they, wasn't no, like she didn't come back in four. Ones. She came back in like. No, they six. like drove through the mountain. Right? No, she died in four. Yeah, she came back in six. You're talking about Michelle Rodriguez, Jose? Yeah. Yeah, she died in four in that opening scene, right? Yeah. Yeah, but then. I do remember them running like coyotes. There was definitely a tunnel or something. Yeah, 100% there was. Yeah. Maybe. I don't remember a tunnel, but let me tell you. If you've been on the fence, if if you look at the Fast and Furious movies and you're like, these are just stupid and I I don't have any interest. I don't like cars. I don't care. No, trust me. You care. These are wonderful. This is a wonderful time. The first three are going to be a really interesting time for you. <laughs> once you hit four, once you hit four and then five, like Fast and the Furious five, I don't know what it's called. Probably Fast they Five. Fast Five, yeah. 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 Uh, remarkably wonderful time. Just a wonderful time. And what's different about Fast Five 
than the previous four. Fast Five is when it really just leans into, like, I am insane. Like, they rip a bank vault out of a building with two, like, Dodge Chargers Mm -hmm. and just drive it down the street and then use it as a weapon. And they just destroy an entire city's police force using this bank vault chained to two cars. It's it's amazing. And also, The Rock is in it. Well, and The Rock. The Rock was in it. The Rock really growing in his acting skills throughout the Fast and the Furious franchise. Like, he shows up in the That's first one, you're like, oh, wow, this this is some raw Dwayne Johnson right here. <laughs> some, some uncut rock. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it was a wonderful time. I ran out of Fast and Furious movies to watch, and I, I got to say, I've been sad. <laughs> it's been a dark time in my life. Well, you know what you could do? Check this out. Imagine the Fast and the Furious movies occur in the same universe as the Cars movies. Okay. And, and now just watch all the three car movies, Cars movies, and pretend I they're mean, Fast I've and seen, Furious. I could, I could like recite the Cars movies practically. I've seen those. All right, Mahoney, times. I got something new for you to watch then. Oh, what is it? Fast and Furious Spy Racers. Oh, that cartoon. It's a cartoon. It's on Netflix. What? You got, I, don't uh, I don't think I'm going to enjoy that. Six seasons. What? It has one of your favorite words in it, Mahoney. Spy. Spy. <laughs> so, Lee, Fast and the Furious number one is about an undercover police officer investigating stolen DVD players. Yes. <laughs> Fast and the Furious number nine, they fly a car into outer space to take out a satellite. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's a hell of a leap, huh? Yeah, it really just grows leaps and bounds from one to nine. I remember, like, the, the craziest stunt in the first one is, like, where they go and they, like, drive the car, like, under the semi-truck. And, like, mm-hmm. that's, like, a crazy stunt that they do. Like, holy shit, that's wild. And then, like, you know, they're jumping from building to building and you know, yeah. <laughs> they go along. Yeah. It, what, some of my favorite observations from these movies is they are essentially an elite fighting force. They get called in by the government when they need, like, black operatives, like, dark, like, cannot be tracked, like, off-record operatives to go do something dangerous. And, and they're like, much sure. much collateral damage as possible behind Exactly. Them. They're like, let me just throw on my nicest hoodie, and I'm on my way. <laughs> like, these people are, ro- like, there's a scene where Paul Walker storms this, like, army bus. It's like this army vehicle the size of a bus it's got a jail in it it's got all these computers in it and it's full of soldiers they rip the back of it off and paul walker climbs onto the hood of the car and leaps into it to fight an unknown amount of soldiers (laughs) and he is wearing jeans and an unzipped hoodie and a pair of sneakers (laughs) like not even a bulletproof vest he's just like i got this like i can handle this and it's amazing. And my other favorite thing is that every single one of these cars is a manual transmission. So they got to shift every one of them. And they well, do obviously. shift every one of them. They are also driving at about 160 miles an hour. <laughs> so you'd like to think they'd have both hands on the wheel, right? <laughs> and their primary method of communication is walkie-talkies, handheld <laughs> walkie-talkies. <laughs> like, you do not have the capacity to be grabbing your walkie-talkie every time you need to talk to each other. Your hands are fucking busy. It's ridiculous. (laughs) The Rock breaks his arm at one point and flexes out of his cast. (laughs) Well, that was just a documentary. (laughs) That was B-roll for the behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. They didn't put it in the movie. They introduced a daughter for him only because he wanted to say the catchphrase, Daddy's got to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's I'm very glad you took that journey, Mahoney. I'm very happy it for It was you. really <laughs> wonderful. Very happy for you. Highly recommended to anybody out there. If you've ever been on the fence, don't be. You're going to love it. You hear that? That's a Mahoney guarantee, everybody. Mm-hmm. You know what you're not going to love? The Matrix. But you're going to love the Fast and the Furious movie. Yeah, I'll watch that Matrix at some point. 
Don't we'll rush. get to it. Maybe we'll see. Yeah, I know what I'm waiting on. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll give you my review. <laughs> you better hurry before it's out of theaters. Well, they just need some produce, and he's ready to mm-hmm. go. <laughs> oh, all right. You should talk to Juan. Well, he sells produce. What? What is up on a classic this week, guys? Nice. Well, since we're, we're talking toys. Back. Well, wait, Lee, aren't you going to tell us about your week? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. You broke Jose. <laughs> Shit, I tell you, it almost broke. I had to hit mute, throw my headphones off, run in the goddamn bedroom. I almost just died. Why? Why? Fucking piece of goddamn cereal went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> Big green for shit. Oh, no. No, I was like, oh, this is serious. Let me go <laughs> run into a room where there's somebody else so I don't fucking die here by oh myself. Oh, my God. <laughs> if you had died live on the podcast, I don't know where we go from I would have been so I'd be mad. on mute. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know until fucking tomorrow. I would hope you would come off of mute so we could at oh, least you could choke out a goodbye. Boys, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> 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 Tell kind of glacier. He <laughs> still has my DVDs. <laughs> what kind of cereal almost murdered you to death? And what kind of candy oh, is in it? It is this bomb ass. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll tell you when we come back from break because I'm gonna have to go get the get box. box so I can read it off what it is. But he's gonna be like fruit <laughs> loop. <laughs> if you're on the fence about choking, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> it's bad. Watch Fast and Furious instead. <laughs> All right. So, yes. s- since we're talking toys tonight, I went back into the archives and I found a story from episode 379, May 3rd, 2017, where Lee probably got some poor kid fired from Toys R Us. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I'm excited already. You can't Enjoy get fired back in a minute. From Toys R Us. <laughs> Love you, bye. <laughs> Enjoy the refreshing taste of an ice cold popcast classic. I needed a win. And a little retail fair is it fuck, I'm gonna go to Toys R Us. There might be something cool. And there was something cool, alright. So excited. I'm walking along, do my thing, and the uh for if you've been in Toys R Us for the past, I don't know, several, several weeks, the front section is done up in all the Power Ranger movie stuff. Yes. You know. Uh, they have moved that and so now it's uh Cars three. That's the, the new thing they're pimping now. Because you keep forgetting Car 3 is coming out. But Car 3 is totally coming out. Not Guardians, huh? Not Guardians. Well, I mean, like, what are they going to do for Guardians toys? Like, those Marvel Legends and that's it? Is that like, all that doing they're a, doing? Yeah, they're not doing, like, a full-on toy line. Huh. Not with, like, you know, accessory. Not, not like the last one, but I think no one liked the last toys because they were bullshit. So they didn't <laughs> sell. They were terrible toys. Yeah, those were bad. So I'm walking along, walking along, walking along, and on one of the end caps, beneath uh, like these big, like I don't know, two foot tall stuffed Iron Mans and Captain Americas, they've got four of the big ass uh, movie Megazord box sets. They're like a hundred dollars uh, on the end cap with a price tag for those stuffed Iron Mans underneath it. That's just twenty nine ninety nine, <laughs> and I go, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's gonna happen here. And I snatch that motherfucker up and I walk up. She scans it. It's a ninety nine ninety nine. I go, well, that is queer and unusual because the <laughs> sticker over there says twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> like, and sure as shit, the manager comes over and begrudgingly honors the price. And I come home with this giant robot I paid thirty dollars <laughs> for. <laughs> so I come home. Yeah, Nicole is uh, working on the birdcage, and I kind of walk. I, I put the thing behind the the love seat and I go, so. A thing happened today. You know, it was a rough day, blah, blah, you know. So I went to Toys R Us for a little retail therapy, and, like, this fucking scowl appears on her face, you know. Yeah. Because in her opinion, I've gone and blown more money on bullshit. And I go, so I got, for $28, the scowl is still there. And I yanked the box up, this motherfucker, and her face lights up with joy. <laughs> <laughs> Like for fucking what? I tell her and I tell her the story and she goes, You are an asshole. You got someone in so much trouble. <laughs> and I'm like, Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? 
Do your job right. That's right. Yeah. If I've everyone's never paid doing their job right, for... that problem wouldn't have been there. Exactly. I never would have paid 100 bucks for this thing. But, boy, it's a solid $28 investment. I'll tell you that much. Holy shit, it's huge. Nothing quenches your thirst quite like a podcast classic. You're totally fine, Lee. You but can't get fired from us. They don't know who put those things on the shelf. They don't remember. You're fine. At one R. point, R. they were <clears throat> working to bring Toys R Us back from the dead. And they were like, okay, we got everything we need to bring Toys R Us back from the dead. We're $70 short. We're $70 short. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, all the backers pull out. <laughs> Goddamn HasLab Rancor all over again. Fucking HasLab Rancor. Ugh. Be ashamed of yourself, A couple, things, couple things the past few weeks I've been like, how the fuck did they ruin that so bad? <laughs> it's mm-hmm. ridiculous. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Speaking oh. of. Well, hold on. Cheerios. Oh. So, Cheerio. oh. Cheerios. Cheerios. Oh, Cheerios. It's a new... Uh, Line series lines. It's oat crunch almond. Fucking oat amazing. crunch almond Cheerios. Yes, and they have like a cinnamon and uh, I think like a blueberry. It's six syllables for a fucking cereal. Oh, it's fucking great. And good for your heart. Too many words. Well, hey. yeah, until it fucking makes it stop. Good for your heart, except that it will choke you to death. <laughs> yeah, good for your heart. Real bad for your lungs. <laughs> Don't put Cheerios directly into your lungs. Do not breathe <laughs> Cheerios like honey oat almond. But good as fuck. Do recommend. Well, there you go. So tell us about your weekend. All right. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will not. In the, in the classic when you were like Lee, uh, Nicole was building the bird cage. Like remember when you yeah, had I, a bird? I went, oh yeah, we had a bird for a second. That's right. Unreal. Yeah, that's um. Oh, that that goes down in the top six times. Lee was right for sure, because <laughs> boy, Lee was right about that fucking bird. Nicole's like, we should get a bird. And I'm like, we are not bird people. She's like, I love them. They're, they're so cute. I go, we're not bird people. They're loud. No one is a bird person. And like they they like here's the thing. A bird needs more time and attention than you can give it. I'm not talking about just when I said that to Nicole. I mean you listening right now. Whoever you are, a bird needs more than you can give it. Which, you know what? Like, where do they get off? Like, they (laughs) live outside with no time and no attention. So, like, fuck you. You need my time and attention. You're a a bird. (laughs) Yeah, if I wasn't here, what the fuck would you be doing? Yeah. Not giving a shit. So now (laughs) I'd be hanging out. They'd be hanging out with other birds. Like, they're weirdly social little creatures that's why they always fly like in those giant packs okay so you needed two birds no he One needed stone. 19 yeah i needed a two birds like i needed a fucking hole on my head so yeah <laughs> no birds? well fucking horrible lee if you did get two birds and you found yourself a stone <laughs> you could you could figure out if you that rings true you could myth bust well, the problem. two birds one stone thing Did they ever what do that on Miss Mythbusters? Try to murder two birds with one stone? <laughs> they should have. I, I don't think so. I knew a guy once who tried to murder a bird with some boiling hot water. <laughs> 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 Super chill. <laughs> Woo! Super chill, that guy. Uh, Watch out, single ladies. He's out there on them dating to be apps. Fair, to be fair, those birds were existing in their natural habitat, so they had to be punished. <laughs> Oh, God. Play my music, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Six, six, six. Top six. Six! I still like six. Is that existing in their natural habitat? <laughs> <laughs> That's all they did. Yeah, that was their biggest crime. That's true. Whew. All right. So this was a, this is a Kelly joint, and it's a very good idea. I did it. Top six toys of 2021. Ooh, I'd smoke a Kelly uh, joint. <laughs> Hey-oh. Yeah. 
I bet a Kelly joint would be super chill. Mm-hmm. Probably. Super mellow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Kelly's super mellow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Always. <laughs> but with a but with an oddly uh but with, but with a weirdly uh, jittery finish, I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a jittery finish. <laughs> he tells you one story that sprinkles into five. <laughs> and then he, and then he goes back. play the hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, top six toys of 2021. Uh, tougher to pare down than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Because there's some really cool shit that came out last year. Uh, and I, but I'm, Lee, I'm interested to see how much overlap we got. Lee, yeah. have you not heard about the supply yeah. chain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supply chain's the real thing. How yeah. did a bunch of cool things come out this past year? The supply chain, bro. Well, they didn't come out when they were supposed to. I'll tell you that. <laughs> a lot of them didn't do that. And they sure uh, yeah, as I, shit didn't ship when they said they would. <laughs> yeah. No, I uh, I ordered all four of those Lightning Collection uh, A-Squad Space Rangers at the same time. And uh, they've come in three separate boxes weeks apart. So <laughs> I'm still waiting on the fourth one. So we'll see when that actually happens. You said Lenny but, Squad. And all they saw was, was Lenny and Squiggy. <laughs> Fucking shout out the Vernon Shirley sure. Drop. <laughs> sure. Never thought in 2022 we'd be shouting out sure. Laverne and Shirley on the panels on Pages Popcast, but here but we here are. But here we are. Here we are. <laughs> fucking getting wild, bro. The new era. Dawn of a new day. Yeah, Lee buying uh, those exclusive Lenny and Squiggy lightning collection figures. The fucking. Oh, you know, Lenny and Squiggy would get reaction figures for sure. Yeah, yeah probably already do. I would, or those, uh, those fucking new Magos. That could be a thing. Mm-hmm. That'd be a weird thing for that. All right. Uh, so I'm going to throw a shout out to the four inch Fortnite line from Jazzwares. Cause you know, not my speed, but Jax has a fucking ton of them. And they've recently done a whole new batch of vehicles and they're fucking dope. Like, oh, the whole, vehicles whole are cool. Got, the taxi's got four, you can fit four guys in it. Like four dudes in it, backseat doors all work. Uh, they got a reboot van, don't they? They got a reboot van, and the reboot van has a gimmick where if you go to the back of it, you flip up the thing, uh, and you put a figure in the top. When you push down the reboot button, the figure launches out of the top of the van. Like it's That's fucking, fucking cool. cool. That is brilliant. Yeah, it's they're really dope, and they have like a, a helicopter. I think the only one he doesn't have it doesn't have the the big. The big rig, like the semi truck, but they're pretty fucking cool. Uh, related, very, very but very not cool related. Uh, I was playing Fortnite today, and I forget where I was, but I happened upon like one of those. You remember from Ninja Turtles when they had the the uh, little module that drilled through the ground, kind of like uh, oh yeah, kind of like the oh, Underminers yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found one of those on the island, so you have to assume what? people from the opposite side. The, the the upside down or whatever are drilling through. Yep. Yep. That's exactly what's happening. It's pretty wild. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. That's fucking cool. Um, second shout out to the Marvel Legends Modok. Hell yeah. He's a big beefy boy. Mm-hmm. And uh, I like that uh, he was still basically a build a figure. Because when you see him and you see the box that came in, you're like, oh, yeah, he was in nine pieces in that thing, which is kind of hilarious. No disrespect to Lee, who paid full price for it, but I just bided my time. I don't need a MODOK figure, but I will definitely buy a MODOK figure for $20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that thing is a steal for $20. Exactly. And then uh, one final shout out to the Mega Thick Boy Violator that just came out. Oh, yeah. Uh, Because mom... I got that guy for Christmas, and he's a fucking hoss. Like it is huge. It's heavy, yeah, and it, I mean it's solid. You were showing us the detail on that uh, swamp thing, and the detail on that violator is wild. Yeah, they're both crazy. The swamp thing just came in today. Uh, Take note, super extra, seven. super extra super special shout out to the swamp thing. But you know the. It was the rank of the violator that got me thinking about the fucking Rancor. I'm like, one of the big things they were talking about is like, oh, well, we got a whole bunch of paint apps on the Rancor. So it's got to be $400 <laughs> because of all the paint apps 
on the Rancor. I'm like, my litter's like 40, 50 bucks. Like, it's crazy. Like, how much mm-hmm. this thing? And it weighs like four pounds. It's so heavy. Like, you know, we'll never know how heavy the Rancor was going to be. I bet it wouldn't have been that heavy. It's fucking nuts. It's crazy. Real fucking cool. But uh, on to my, my proper uh, top six. The One of the reasons that the uh, Violator got a shout out was because if not for the Kickstarter spawn figure, probably would not be a fake boy Violator. And that fucking, like, the, kick, the Kickstarter spawn figure was like an experience. Like, getting that thing in the mail and oh, they had the beautiful outside box and they reproduce the uh, old school clamshells and they put in a comic book in there that had the was like a director's cut of the first issue so it was all black and white art and commentary and shit and a shitload of fun accessories and just that foam insert like everything about it like it's a fucking masterpiece in every possible way it's like oh this is how you fucking do a figure like, like a, you're gonna make you're gonna charge me 60 bucks for a figure, like make a fucking deal out of it, mm-hmm. and they made a big deal out of it. It was really cool. They had the, you know, the metal chains and the big dumb cape. Like it's fucking cool. Like just tremendous. Like everything about it was a plus front to back. It was awesome. Fucking super cool. And then you look at that uh, then, uh, that original McFarlane spawn next to the Kickstarter one, and it's like, how did that spawn ever get produced? Because it wasn't long after that first series where they started getting real detailed in the McFarlane figures and this is kind of soft as far as detail goes well yeah I mean because you know he fucking created his own toy company mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like uh yeah those uh, those were produced by uh Todd's Toys yeah it wasn't even McFarlane Toys yet so I was like I'll fucking make my own damn figures and you know that was kind of comparable to the superhero toys of the era you know sure fucking five points, you know, fairly soft. And then at some point, maybe four, five series in, they're like, ah, oh, no, let's just go ham. Let's just paint the fuck out of them. <laughs> like, even before that, super crazy detail-wise, they put a ton of paint on them. Uh, oh, man, it's hell of a journey on those things. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad they're back. And I believe there should be a new modern comic book spawn coming out in the coming months if the internet is to be believed, which, as we all know, it's always to be believed. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up, let's see what is next in the the series of fun. Anyway, yeah, next up is uh, the MMC reformatted Optus Pexus, and that is one of those fancy third party Transformers figures. Uh, I don't get a lot of those because they're fucking really expensive. Optus uh, Pexus. <laughs> Optus. Yeah, Pexus let's go back to the name it. real quick. Yeah, Optus Pexus. It is a non. Legally actionable, uh, kind of looks exactly like Optimus Prime. Uh, okay, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's based off of uh, Alex Milne's pre-war um, designs from the com- oh, IDW okay. comics, IDW comics, and with figures like this, Transformers in particular, like you typically either get okay, they either transform or they have bomb mass articulation, and this thing is an engineering marvel in that it has like you know telescoping collapsing knees and elbows and this insane ab crunch it can you know it's it's its own d like it's joe rogan it it (laughs) fucking is so bendy (laughs) and like the range of motion on it is absurd like every finger and knuckle articulated like uh it's it's amazing and it and it transformed into this crazy you know future tank thing and you're like, okay, yeah, it's not a real thing that it transforms into, so they can cut some corners. It's like, yeah, I guess that's technically true, but it does look exactly like the fucking drawings did. So so they couldn't take, you know, all the corners. Like, it wasn't all liberties. So, I mean, really, really fucking cool. Um, one of the one of the coolest ones that I've that I've ever seen. Uh, just in execution from front to back. Very, very impressive. And then uh, next up, we got. Oh yeah, there we go. Um, the Lego Daily Bugle. This this fucker. Those went up it's, on Amazon the other day, and I came so close to buying one. It's so fucking cool, man. It's crammed full of crazy Easter eggs for all these different versions of uh, Spider-Man stuff, and uh, the office. It's got like you know his office from the '60s cartoon in there. 
It's got the spider buggy crawling up the wall. It came with 25 minifigures. Jesus. Uh, nice. And, and including some that had never been seen before. Uh, you got some stuff. And a fucking taxi cab. Um, a Sandman that's like the top part, like you know, the upper body of a regular figure. But like all this like busted, built up, like con- like he's busting out of the sidewalk, he looks like. Like it's fucking rad. Like it's really, really impressive. And you can set it up so that either it's all like everything kosher the building is straight or it's you can have the front window of the office exploding and green goblin flying out of it on his glider like super <laughs> cool like really really cool and even like the uh the doc ock figure has you know you, you've seen it before we just had like the little backpack and the little claws on it now this thing is made each arm is made of like probably 18 to 20 studs and little like tiny you know kind of uh, elbow little pieces segmented so you this... yeah yeah okay so you have like kind of like limited what for the spider-man 2 movie legos but it looks like they made them bigger now yes similar but much bigger yeah yeah much much bigger it's fucking great uh and fucking fire well fire it can be firestar and carnage and venom and uh when like they miles with his like hoodie like the spider-verse like tons of fucking figures I think it has a spider ham as well, I think. I have ham riding up the wall in the spider buggy. <laughs> because it's got a fucking spider buggy too. Very, very cool. Big, big. T- take some time, but it is really fucking cool. What's the retail on that? Maybe three forty nine, three fifty, I think. I I wanna say it was two ninety nine. Maybe two ninety when I was looking yeah. at it the other day. It's, it's worth it. It's, it's worth cool. it. It's, it's a hell of a piece. <laughs> Yeah, it's a hell of a piece. Yeah, it's less the money and more where the fuck do I put it? Right. Yeah. Bend over. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, I built the shelf that it's on now knowing that's where it was going to go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is why I've got this. All right. This is where it's going. Uh, next up, I got the uh, figure standard Common Rider Ryuki model. Ooh, which that you know, almost made my list. The figure as common model, common riders are, you know, they have the same kind of regular standard range of motion for those models. They're kind of, you know, they, they definitely follow a formula, but the uh, the part loadout on him is so good that it, he has nowhere near as many stickers as some of the other ones do. Uh, so he just looks really tight and really clean. And that fucking dragon, man, he comes with a full on like, what, Kelly, that dragon's what, 20 inches long? Some crazy shit like that? Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's real big. It's long as hell. Keep talking, dirty. And, and and every every piece is segmented, and articulated, and so you know, many stickers. All, yeah, the dragon's got a lot of stickers. Yeah, the dragon's got a lot of stickers. But you know, it can come apart, and all the pieces go on to uh, the figure to be their weapons or armor and shit like that, just like it does in the show and shit. Like it's super, super awesome. Like really, really badass. Uh, um... And the way that they did the stands, he comes with two stands. That uh, you can put on any segment, any segment of the armor of uh, the dragon, rather, has a slot. So you can put him in basically any pose you can think of. It's really fucking dope. You know, like the most of the figure eyes kits come with stands. Why can't they just make that the norm for Gundam and like all the Bandai model kits? I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're, they're like, they're not the typical Gundam stands. No. But. But they really they work. They do the job. Yeah, yeah. But like no, you want you know, like they really. I think put a stand in every kit. Like I don't care. You, know, you want to sell the, price the nice, a bit. and you want and you can still sell the nice stands. Exactly. You know, like the nice articulated arm ones or whatever. Like you know the the <clears throat> what do they call them? the play act stage or whatever the fuck. You can still sell yeah. those. Yeah. But put one of those fucking figure eye stands in there. They're great. They do yeah. the job. Yeah. Question. Where did you take this picture? Uh, that is on my dining room table. Um, am I to believe that you have sexy cow portraits on the wall <laughs> in your dining room? Oh, uh, that room is all cows. <laughs> there <laughs> are, yeah, that room has a, probably upwards of 15 uh, different cow prints <laughs> and portraits on the walls. 
sexy cow. Sexy cow. I don't know cow. why. Nicole was like, this is going to be the cow room. And I'm like, fuck it. Let's make it the cow room. Why not? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, you, so many cows. We're we're all so in now. We're going to help you with okay. your cow room. Mm-hmm. Wait, do you see it? Wait, do you fucking see it? <laughs> it's something else. We'll just yes. submit cow pictures for your cow room. <laughs> or we could uh, print pictures off of Instagram and frame them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she would love that. <laughs> Fucking the best. All right. Uh, next up, getting toward the back end here, uh, we got the uh, Lightning Collection Pudgy Pig figure, which Looks is like- one of the greatest figures ever made. Looks like he smells it's, like ham. It's so fucking cool. It looks like your plumber like, found him in your pipes. <laughs> <laughs> well, here was the problem. It's fucking tremendous. This fucking thing was in your pipes. <laughs> it's tremendous. The 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 paintwork is great. The detailing is amazing. Uh, he's ridiculously articulated for what he is. Like he's probably more articulated than the guy in the fucking suit was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that guy was having a hard time with that fucking thing. <laughs> and, the Pudgy Pig's always held a special place in my heart. I got the old school one on my desk here. Um, the old school one still out. holds up. It's great. That's, it's the only vintage monster I still have out because it's fucking precious. He's adorable. Uh, I was super bummed when they were like, oh, yeah, it's going to be a Hascon exclusive. It's going to be 60 damn dollars. I'm like, what the fuck? And then before they could even ship those out, they were like, nope, 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 never mind. Tar- Everyone else is getting them too. And I'm like, yes, because I was not going to pay 60 bucks for it. Although now that I have it in hand, I probably would have. It's easily worth it. It's fucking really, really impressive. It's very cool. Yeah, I've got mine sitting in my pile of loot in a big bad toy store. Look at you those little hooks. You're going to be disappointed. He's precious. And he's got, he's even got uh, different hands for, uh, but like none of the hands have proper fingers on them. They just have like a little groove for holding his fork and knife and shit. So it's, he's just precious. He's, he's precious. He's more precious than all of us. He's wonderful. And then uh, taking us home is um, fucking Neca Goliath, you guys. That mm. fucking thing. Look at that boy. It's look at that fucking boy. I, I mean, you know, it's it's not every day that something kind of like you know a blows away your expectations. And especially not one that, you know, when my wife sees it, she's like, fuck, that's cool. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. That's fucking dope. So, yeah. Uh, and, you know, it's going to be made even better when, you know, they find out that the the Bronx figure is going to have his cloaked wings and they got um, uh, at least headshots of the whole fucking clan is out yeah. there now, which is pretty cool. I mean, when they announced this, they kind of said that they already had the entire team ready to go. Yeah, so I'm super in. I'm super in on those things. They're gorgeous, and that's one of those two where it's like, you know, we give NECA a lot of shit, but when they nail it, they fucking nail it. And they they nailed it with this thing, and I'm like, yeah, this is actually underpriced, believe it or not. (laughs) It's kind of amazing. Maybe just get your distribution together and your fucking uh, Twitter customer service, and we can talk. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, the Twitter customer service response shouldn't be eat shit nerd <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, sorry I can't answer your question too busy fucking your mom <laughs> See, that's the right response when somebody gets mad about roast day but not when somebody wants to know where their toys are Yeah. or hey I opened this thing and it was broken can I get a replacement fuck you yeah. <laughs> like, like, no. okay. yeah that's my six and I feel pretty good about it. Solid. Uh, what you got, Kelly? I got stuff. All right. So my uh, shout outs are to the Max oh, Toy Co. If you are just listening, uh, we do have visual aids. We got pictures of these shits on the YouTube. If you want to check them out. Yeah. And I appreciate you guys not sending me pictures for all your uh, shout outs. Yeah. No well, one of my shout outs, the one I'm about to talk about, the Max Toyko Gomera, was on my list initially, but then I couldn't find a listing of it online anywhere, and I didn't feel like doing a little photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it, whatever works. Yeah, but it is a cute 
little like three and a three quarter scale uh sculpt of one of my favorite Ultraman monsters, Gomera, and he's purple and it's great. Uh, and then my other shout out is to the Mondo Collectibles release of Pulgasari in a uh, vinyl figure that's about like, I don't know, nine inches tall. I got the red version they put out and it looks real cool. Uh, so, all right, let's get to the top six. Uh, number six from Toddy Mac, the King Shark build a figure. Hi. Look at him. <laughs> Hi. I would get one of those in a heart. I, I looked for that gold label, like the single box one, for so long. That would yeah, it's honestly. It's worth just buying the figures and putting it together. Like He's so it's precious. Look at it's it. so Look great. At it. It's shorts. chunky as hell, real heavy. Looks as dumb and as goofy as you want them to. <laughs> There's slight differences I've I've noticed between the two versions, like in terms of paint job. Nothing like major, but I think I prefer the build a figure version. But yeah, I I love it. I'm so happy I completed it. I've seen where some people have bought like uh, custom made like soft goods shorts for him. Yeah, mm-hmm. I saw that. Yeah, just yeah, looks pretty great. Yeah, what a great movie that was. It really was. It really was. I'm super hyped for that Peacemaker show. That yep. should be a good time. Yeah. Yeah. That's that looks soon, good. isn't it? Yeah, it's um next week or so. Fifth I think. Next week. Oh shit. Okay. Take, it's like the 13th or something yeah. like that. Now, is that going to be a weekly thing, or are they dropping it all at once? She. It's going to well, come I, out every hour. Because I thought it was a, a Max original, but apparently they're also playing it on HBO. Oh, all right. Which, if I might you're as doing well. that, then you're not helping people subscribe to HBO Max. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. I think you're missing point, HBO, but okay. I mean, the fucking The Watchmen show did well enough for him, so might as well. <sighs> that show was awesome. Yeah, it was. Uh, all right, moving on to number five from uh, our friends at Super 7. Got the Shogun Warriors Godzilla reaction, uh, specifically the version that they released for San Diego Comic Con 2021. Because uh, this one had the box in the style of the old Shogun Warriors one. So it's not like typically carded like your normal reaction figures are. So they got it as close to the original packaging as you could with that small I want to scale. hate it on principle, but that's fucking cool. <laughs> it's really cool. It's as close as I'm ever going to get to having, you know, the real thing. What's the size on it since it's reaction? It's like the three and three quarter scale. Okay, so it's oh, it's wow. it's not like larger because it's a Godzilla. Yeah, no. I was shocked when I got that uh, Dragonzord reaction figure last week and it was like five inches. Like that thing, I'm. I after I ordered it, I kind of regretted ordering that, and then I got it, and I'm like, oh wait, no, this thing's fucking rad. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, no regrets. Yeah, but no, this Godzilla's great. You can uh, make the tongue come out like the old, <laughs> like the old toy. <laughs> That's fucking dope. Tell yeah. us more. It's really cool. I'm glad I got that. He uh, looks the like nicest he smells... way possible. It looks like it's from Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, no, it it, uh, it like it's not a good looking Godzilla figure, but for like representing what it is, it's perfect. Because that Shogun Warriors Godzilla looks dopey as hell, but I still want one. Yeah, L- looks like he smells bad. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number four comes from X Plus. It is the Terror of Mecha Godzilla uh, D for Real Mecha Godzilla. Cool. That is really cool. That's yeah. fucking cool. And in stock at Big Bad Toy Store. Not sponsored. Yep. Eighty nine ninety nine. Yep. Yeah, the Terror of Mecha Godzilla Mecha Godzilla suit is probably my favorite incarnation of the character. It's just a slight bit different than the uh, Mecha Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla suit. Uh, it's a little bit darker, and I think it just looks cooler. And they did a really good job representing it with this D for real figure. They put a ton of detail into these things while still making them, you know, like the kind of almost chibi style. Mm-hmm. But, like, I love the D for real line. I p- also picked up a uh, Gamera from the, uh, I think it was the Attack of Legion movie, and that is awesome. 
But yeah, I highly recommend getting into D for Reals. I already decided I'm getting the Godzilla Singular Point Godzilla in that version instead of the SH figure arts. Just cause, oh, right on. Yeah, it it looks great, so I'm I'm excited. What other stuff do they offer in D for Real? It's mostly just like the kaiju stuff. Every now and then they'll do some other assorted things, but yeah, you can see the Singular the Point rings. Godzilla there. Oh, look at this. Look at this Koba. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, those are dope. pretty cool. Yeah. Fucking yeah, what? I, I love the D for real line. Because they're so detailed. Yeah. X Plus does good work. I've been looking at getting that uh, Ultraman Zero for a while. There's All the right. Gamera you were talking about? Uh, I think that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I've got. So, yeah, he's super cool. Oh, they got common riders in this yep. style. That's how Kamen I first riders. found out about the line because I know John Michael was collecting those, and he was telling us about them. Like, oh shit, these things rule. Like that uh, common rider X aid down there. I've been thinking about getting that. The first D for real I got was precious. the uh, was the grid man they did. Because I picked that those up on sale adorable. at work. Yeah, expensive. Yeah. yeah, they're expensive, but they're worth it. Hey, there's the grid man. <laughs> Grid man. Value price is $79. <laughs> Four dollar flat rate shipping. Yep. Use code Popcast to get ten percent off your order at Big Bad Toy Store. Oh, if only. Not really. <laughs> I wish. Alright. On to number three. Bandai brings us the SH Figure Arts Cooler. Who is I've heard nothing but good things about this fucking. Dude, guy. it's like... so fucking good. Boy, they thick. delayed it and delayed it and delayed it, and it's so worth it. It's such a great figure. It's like for an SH figure, it's it's way like beefier and meatier than you expect. Just because I mean, those figures aren't like shoddy by any means, but they can kind of be thin. Yeah, they're they're light. Yeah, they're light. This one is not. Nah, he looks thick. Look at as those hell. real hand toes. Over yeah, there. look yeah. at those thumb toes. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he can he can pick stuff up with those. Like, I think there is even uh, swappable feet that are, like, grabbing feet. Yeah, you should be able to take his feet and put them where his hands are, and his hands put them where his feet are. <laughs> well, the tail looks badass. That's awesome. It yeah, the tail's awesome. It's yeah. huge. Yeah, I, I ordered mine from Premium Bandai when they offered it, like, immediately, and it's super cool. I was very happy with it. Cooler's like one of my favorite Dragon Ball villains, so I was happy to see him get a sweet figure like this. Pretty cool. Yep. And then number two is the Bid Toys uh. Mecha Kubala. And uh, this is last year you may have heard me talk about my favorite toy of the year in 2020. It was the Bid Toys releases of uh the Ultraman and Godzilla, but they're Mario and uh, yes. uh, Bowser. So this was their follow-up of the Mecha Bowser. And it's so cool. They recently put out a second version where it's the more like Bowser color scheme. So he's not, you know, silver. And it looks wow. just as cool, but I think I prefer the silver version. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to get Mecha Bowser, you don't want him. You want him silver. Yeah, nope. exactly. They don't paint them. Yeah, yeah. no, it's rad. I'm super happy with these figures. I hope they keep the line going and do more of the uh, Mario figures in monster style. And does it come with a free DVD? No, but all of the, <laughs> all of the promo images have the DVD logo in the corner for some reason. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no idea why. <laughs> Just got to keep you guessing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then my number one, something Wait, that, that almost peculiar. <laughs> what the fuck that even oh, mean? Yeah. No, so it's weird. super weird. That's so weird. Yeah. And it, that, yeah, that took a second just... to hit me again. That hit me again. Like, <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. If you look up the promo <laughs> images of this, like all of them have that. It's super weird. <laughs> But yeah, my number one almost didn't make it on a technicality because it technically released in December of 2020, but like no one had it, so I don't count it. And I didn't get it until December of 2021. 
it is the perfect grade unleashed RX seven eight two Gundam. T- t- tell, tell me all about it, Kelly. Oh, this has been taking up most of my free time. This is the one you've been working on. This is the one I've been working on. Is it uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's unrecognizable. Yeah, because I'm nowhere near the point where I can put the armor on. <laughs> yeah, you don't he's... have any of the white on it yet. Exactly. Right now, he's a skinless beast. Like, I have none of the armor God. on. You can see Holy shit, look at that. Yeah, you can see under the hatches some of the parts that I have put on there. I just finished... So it's five phases in building. This is where I'm at right now that you're showing on the screen. It's the end of phase three. I've got all the trussing on. So all of the inner skeleton essentially is done. So now the next phase is putting on all the armor. And then after that, I'll be doing weapons and stuff like that and putting in the LEDs. And from your pictures, just those legs look like they're 10 inches long. Oh, it's huge. It's easily... It's it's more than a foot tall. Like I I need to actually measure it out, but it's huge. So the idea behind the perfect grades is that like basically if these were real, this would be how many parts and how they'd be assembled, essentially. It's kind of yeah. the idea behind them. Oh my god. Fucking wild. Yeah, it's nuts. There's so much to this kit. Like the runners go all the way up through the letter Z. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, there's what, still Kelly. stuff like there's there's runners and bags I haven't even opened yet just because like they knew it's like you're not going to get to this part for a good long time. It can sit, stay in the box. It has a light up lightsaber. It sure does. Cool. It in this picture, it just looks like a super long Christmas light. <laughs> <laughs> but I have been warned with that lightsaber to be very careful because the batteries they use are uh, splody. Oh, oh, no. Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> and uh, now, like, apparently they're mostly used in, like, fishing lures for that type of battery. But people have figured out that fishing they're lures. being used for Gundams. So now they're jacking up the prices on those batteries to, like, 50 bucks a piece. Oh, <laughs> oh that's fucked yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, so I need to be real careful when I'm installing that part. <laughs> Yeah, I have some kits that have the LED, like the hole for the LED for the Chester head, but never mm-hmm. actually went for it because I had to buy it extra. I assume this comes with it. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. all in there. I just need to put it all together. Yeah, that, that's that's my list. I That's fucking awesome. I'm Solid, super Kelly. happy with the perfect grade. I think I've put like 14 hours or so into it. Jesus. Oh, are, you, are you smiling the whole time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jose, you got to get into Gundams next. Oof. <laughs> it's a slippery slope, isn't it? Get that it? Gundam yep. style. That's the new, uh, you, you, once you've done all the puzzles, then you take over <laughs> Gundams. That's the master puzzle? Well, yep. it's combining his two passions. It is. Puzzles and toys. And then you'd have all those uh, leftover all those runners. runner pieces? Yeah. yeah. Think of what you could do with all that. It's all pipes and tubes. Dude, yep. I'm so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> they did it. Lee, have you seen the figureized Batman they put out? Yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. I've been looking it's at it cool. at work, like debating if I want one or not. Like it's it's cool. It it just looks like a Batman Gundam. <laughs> like yeah, it's, it's rad cool. as hell. Love it. All right, what do you have, Jose? What you got? Shout outs, bitches. Uh, shout out to some McFarland Witcher figures that I picked up. Some, some Gerald. Uh, I got a Siri. I got a dude who leads the Wild Hunt. So that was pretty cool. Um, shout out to Aliens versus Predator. I picked up some of them cheap nine dollar Alien fi- Walmart figures that I plan on doing like a sweet uh, repaint with, and then, um. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool detail on those figures. They just need some yes. good paint. I, yes. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Yeah. Once they're unlocked, it's going to be pretty cool. That and then um, uh, was you found me one of those predators. I don't know if it was this year, but you know, fuck it. Right. Oh, goddamn shout out. <laughs> you got it this year, right? Yeah, you got it this year at least. Yeah. So got some cool things playing with some of that. That's going to be fun. 
Um, and then to another figure that I got a while ago, but really never talked about it, but the fucking 89 SH figure arts, uh, Batman, Keaton, Batman, Keaton, Batman. So I'm pretty hard to do something with that. I'm ready. Um, well, my boy's hard over here. Oh, dude. <laughs> You're I'm having a horny <laughs> night. <laughs> boy hard. So choking on Cheerios, got toy boners. Oh, what a night. Oh my, dude. I've never been that scared eating cereal before in my life. <laughs> cereal is uh, not usually a scary food. I, I hear you. <laughs> Typically, no, no. I'm like, I, is the thing I love going to kill me? Was it a matter of you were doing like the, the inhale as you're trying to get the milk and the cereal? Kind like of, a... yeah, because it was like the last bite. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah it was like, almost was your last bite. Uh, the best thing Never. is... If Jose wasn't muted, we would have heard him coughing and choking, but we wouldn't think that it was actually choking. No, we would have been like, oh, Jose. <laughs> Old Jose. And Having his, some more devil's lettuce. His glaucoma medication. Yeah, no, well, yeah but you, you would have heard me fucking throw my shit down and <laughs> run out of the goddamn room. Um. So, number six. Bought this on the fucking cheap with the ladies' discount. Goddamn. Oh. Halo nerf. <laughs> uh, shotgun. The fucking. It was the Bulldog. The name Love of it. it. So I'm looking I wanted cool. so badly to put a nerf gun on my list, but I don't think I got any this year. That's yeah. pretty slick. With the nerf Gatling. So great. With the. Oh, man. Yeah. So that's going to be fucking pretty cool so that's going to be my first life-size repaint i'm pretty excited for that one. Oh, somebody's gonna be a cosplayer oh, <laughs> oh man <laughs> i'm gonna go as chiefy master <laughs> every time i take my helmet off it's just or, or it just constantly looks like i'm hot boxing my <laughs> master chief helmet you feel me i'll be fucking John Spartan 420. <laughs> John Spartan. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So, I, number five, um, as a kid, Wolverine was my favorite of those old school little, um, the old school Marvel figures. You know what I mean? No articulation. Yep. The arms went straight up and the, down. The toy biz. Yeah. But they came out with the the yellow and brown Wolverine that the claws came out. And I was like, yep. I fucking love this. And it was around Christmas. And mom was like, nah, you don't need it. You don't need it. I'm like, man, that's fucked up, man. Come on. It's Wolverine. Come on. It's a fucking his claws. And she wouldn't get it. Wouldn't get it. <laughs> I fucking traded my friend for it. Come home. And I'm all excited. I'm like, oh, shit. I got Wolverine. And she goes, you little shit goes up grabs a fucking wrap package tosses at me and was like well merry fucking christmas and it was fucking, i was like oh all right i'm gonna go see if i can return this sucker back <laughs> so it was cool to get this wolverine same suit you know what i mean like i i didn't really have a wolverine figure and Wolverine figures are fun. They're always cool. They got fucking claws. Come on. Yeah. Modern sculpt, modern paint, articulation. Two heads, which is cool. So looking forward you to it. Uh, you can give him real claws, uh, Jose, with bobby pins. I've done, done that before. It's pretty fucking cool. Ooh, look at you. Those plastic ones get all bendy and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the word. Like a sword, some like they come with a sword or something, and it's like fucking all limp and bent. It's like mm -hmm. I can't take a picture with a fucking sword that looks like that. It's when you get the hair dryer out. Ooh, burn you, motherfucker! Don't burn it. Uh, no, just fucking boil. I... <laughs> he just melts it down, reforms <laughs> yeah, it. I, yeah, just fucking melt the plastic <laughs> he, down. He, 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 he sets it on fire. He goes, "So what the fuck you get?" Yeah. <laughs> You get burnt. Come up in my house, I'll limp. Now you're a um, puddle. You like that sword? You dumb I bitch. <laughs> just straight regular water through the coffee machine and then pour that in like a oh, there you go. Uh, uh, Chinese takeout little thing because it absorbs yeah, the yeah. heat well. Drop that bitch in there and it'll become bendy, pliable. Straighten that bitch out and then let it 
cool. Good move. Uh, what the varsity uh, number three, move, Jose? I'm impressed. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Getting there. I'm getting there. I'm slowly tackling and honing skills and and clearing enough free space in this place to do something. It's getting there. Uh, number four, the whole what if line. Me and the lady watched the cartoons and we fucking loved them. And I avoided getting the what ifs, but then I saw the zombie cap and I'm like, oh, I'm getting the fucking zombie cap. And then I saw <laughs> Agent Carter and I was like, well, Agent Carter looks cool. I'm getting that. And then I saw the Doctor Strange and I was like, oh shit, well, that's good. I'm getting that. And then I was good. <laughs> I was fine. I don't need one other thing. But then the lady. You know, she saw him. She's like, oh, these are cool. And I was like, yeah, it's a build a figure. It makes the watcher. And then we finished what if. And she's like, oh, well, we got to get the figures now. And I'm like, okay, pull the trigger, bottom ball. <laughs> she was, before we were, she even turned her head. And she was like, God damn it. We were Look. in the hotel in New York. And I'm pulling up links for Jose. I was like, oh, you, you can get Spider-Man right now. Pull the, do yeah. it. <laughs> pull the trigger. This one, pull the trigger. This one, pull the trigger. So the. Watch your belly figure. It's pretty fucking cool. He's pretty cool. I dig him. So he's got one arm that's bare and one with like the cloak on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. That looks dope. Yeah. Business I'm casual. still waiting on, speaking of the uh, supply chain knives, I'm still waiting on my uh, Diamond Select reissue of the Watcher that was supposed to come in in October. Buddy, so uh, you are not the only one. I'm sure. <laughs> I feel like I get asked about it at work at least once every couple of like once every two weeks, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh he's 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 taking a sweet time getting there. It's like that Robotech Kickstarter. <laughs> Supply chain really <laughs> fucked that up. Yeah. Uh, number three, this is a multiple toy situation. All right, all right, oh. all right, all right. Number three is my clearance luck this year. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Um, I'm not for sure what order i i got uh order. crow first here okay so this crow we picked up at a fucking Dwayne reed in new york shooting the fucking <laughs> convention we went there for like water and i was like let me just go peruse the clearance section no we were looking for a tiny screwdriver Ooh, a tiny screwdriver yeah. yes a tiny screwdriver because one of the lenses was a little loose so we had to tighten the lens but it needed one of those fine like eyeglass screwdrivers so we're looking for that peruse the clearance and there's a fucking crow figure so you know i picked up one of them long neck motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> you already had this guy right well i had the other one i had the one that came um, the deluxe version yeah yeah the one before i think he came with the chair or i got the one before and, the chair well they had well, or the one that had the the one with the coat and one without right Okay, I got the one without that's supposed to be in the pose that he is in when he's sitting in the chair without gotcha, the coat. Gotcha. Okay, so that one. Good Next deal. Slide. Yeah, no shit. Like half off. F off, guys. Uh, fucking perusal. There's a our local Walmart. Their clearance section's rocking. Found this NECA fucking Godzilla for 10 bucks. <laughs> Bro, that's King oh, Kong. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you know, one of the monsters. Tell him you broke a glass in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> All you kaiju look alike. <clears throat> so, I, out of the Godzillas, that's not my favorite paint job of the Godzilla. But <laughs> for fucking Claire. <laughs> I'll pick that bitch up. How much was it? Uh, it it was either ten or twenty because it was half off. Is this right. normally forty? Normally thirty. 20? Normally thirty. Yeah, okay, so yeah, yeah. I think it was like eleven or twelve. Or something. Yeah, and the, like, that's the a lot of money much, for twelve bucks. Yeah, fifty yeah. percent off for a NECA. Like you don't find fifty percent off NECAs. Yeah, and like yeah. I got the first NECA King Kong. Like first time I saw it, I grabbed it and paid full price for it. So it was a good what a fucking chump. good steal. You and probably got this one on clearance because it's a really fucked up looking Godzilla. Like it's really yeah, somebody's beautiful. like the guy in the toy department was like, oh, they fucked this one up. Just some grandpa <laughs> who doesn't know toys. <laughs> Goddamn Godzilla looks like a monkey. Over this thing. 
Yeah, this Godzilla figure says King Kong on the box. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's it's spelled King King, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nancy. Uh, next slide. <laughs> next slide. <laughs> Uh, same clearance section. Fucking snap into that big bitch. Uh, <laughs> the ultimate macho man that comes with glasses, helmet, uh, <laughs> tassel jacket. Helmet. <laughs> Good old Godzilla wearing his helmet. <laughs> his green cowboy helmet. <laughs> Ready for war. Reporting for duty. Well, they do that. Like on construction sites in Texas, don't they have construction helmets that look like cowboy hats? <laughs> do they? <laughs> they do. I'm gonna that say sounds yeah. like a Texas. That sounds thing. right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that is so Texas. Uh, snap into a hard hat. This <laughs> <His> fucking helmet. <laughs> and that was that was the ultimate, right? Yes. So. That bitch it's funny. That I got ball. that. I got that one, and then they re- they put out. I think it's. Uh, I think it's the elite one that has like the pink shirt. He comes with the the fucking cream container. Like that's the mm-hmm. one I really want, but mm-hmm. I can't get that fucker yeah. anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Well, if I see that on clearance, you know I'm getting that motherfucker. Oh yeah, it's like sixty dollars. Like it's everyone snatched that up. I, I've only ever given a fuck about a handful of these Mattel wrestling figures, but like every time I do, they're like, oh, there's a crazy aftermarket on them who would have guessed i Mm -hmm. i had no idea next slide please (laughs) (laughs) my number two uh figure that i do not currently have but i oh sorry oh sorry again but i did (laughs) purchase it this year and it should be coming fingers crossed in 20 this year uh my first Mezco figure got the crow. Had to that get thing's going to be so fucking cool, man. I'm so excited. That thing's going to be awesome. Three different heads, fucking shitload of hands. It comes with the the crow fire outline that he did when he sent T-Bird off. It comes with the... Uh, That's uh, cool. The cat, like a little tombstone. Like, it, it's got some cool shit. It, that's a figure that's got some character. Like, I almost pulled the trigger on the Destro, but I had to pull the trigger on this one. Yeah, it looks real nice. Yeah, that's one twelve figures is like, oh yeah, when you get one, you're like, oh, no, that that's why they're a hundred dollars. Yeah, they're they're kind of amazing. <laughs> right, I got it now. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm toy hard. Toy hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and my number one. Next slide, please. Motherfucking GI <laughs> Joes. Hey, <laughs> look at those guys having a great time. All of them. The whole line, what I have, what's to come, the ones I'm missing, the whole new G.I. Joe line is fucking spectacular. You went from Snake Eyes and Destro to a collection of probably, what, 30 Joes already? Something like that. Yeah, can't I, be I have oh, wow. so many Joes, I just I split it into two tubs and had villains and good guys. Yeah. And you were buying figures twice because you didn't realize you had it already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so ready. So I stop buying uh, the pre-sales. I'm going to wait because every time I buy a fucking pre-sale, I see it in the store before I goddamn the thing comes in or I forget. And I tell my credit card it's fraud. <laughs> <laughs> And then he and then Amazon's like, nah, bitch, we know you got the toy. Pay up. <laughs> like you might think that it's guy. fraud, but we know it's legit. Give mm-hmm. us the money back. That new the the bats and the vipers coming out, those are fucking cool looking. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm a big Joe guy, but those rock. Those Zero in so the chat cool. said he just ordered two bats and an alley viper this morning. Oh. The bats are awesome. Like they're very fucking cool. I want to order them so hard, but I can't right now. I want a toy freeze. Look at it this way, Jose. If a character comes out and it's up for pre-order and it's something that you love, like a Destro, get it just for peace of mind so that you know you'll have it. If it's a character that you're kind of lukewarm on, then you can wait. You can wait until you see it in a store. You can wait until maybe it goes on clearance. Who knows? But All this year, I'm waiting. Store only. All right. The one figure I bought online already got a good 
Everyone's getting dicked around on it. What? Oh, what is that's this? So fucking irritating. The the Batman the that comes with all the Robins. Batman who laughs. Ah, uh, the Batman oh, who laughs yeah. with the Robins. Yeah. Everyone's getting dicked around on it. I mean, that was nonsense. I never got the thing that said it was canceled. I got the thing that says it was shipped and it should be here Wednesday. But then the email says it could be here Friday. So I don't know who's fucking telling the truth. But it did well, say delayed with no date. Yeah, I haven't gotten a shipping notification on mine, but I did not get a cancellation. So I think I did because I ordered one for myself by accident. Right. Trying to get one trying to get one for Tito. And then I'm like, fuck it. I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> like, I mean, because that's pretty dope. It's an amazing deal. And they're like, nah, bitch, and you then, got one already. Canceled. Four figures for forty dollars? Come on. Yeah. And then Tito's got canceled. And so I'm like, all right, I'll just fucking. Oh, well, they canceled just... Tito? <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> what did he do? You Looking know what? Up... Nothing. Walmart was just being an asshole about it. Looking up too many so girls' like, skirts. I'll just... I'll just fucking low key. I'll just send him this one when it comes in. It'll be fine. And then fucking Johnny Nye's on the spot here. We're like, I got you, dog. I'm like, all right. Looks like I'm keeping them after all. <laughs> Worked for me. Oh. I didn't realize you had ordered gets... two. <laughs> <laughs> I got one I for me and one for Tito. The story at all. Okay. I got one for me and one for Tito. But I one for Tito accidentally ordering toy. dark side. Dark side. <laughs> yeah, that's one I of my favorite stories. Yeah, I actually bought dark side, fixed that, then went to buy the Batman's. I was in such a hurry that I just left my address in, so it was going to come to me. I'm like, fuck. All right, then I bought one for Tito to the right address. That one got canceled. The one I accidentally bought for myself did not. So I was just going to send it to Tito, <laughs> and then Nia's got one today, so I get to keep Batman's, which is good. So everybody, everybody wins. I didn't mean to Batman's cock block you. Everybody. That's okay, because now I get to keep them. Yeah. It was yeah, going to be hard to do that very nice thing. <laughs> that was that was the last toy I bought for a while. Well, that's a fucking cool one. Those things are awesome. Yeah, that's it. You know the, the sucky thing about toys? They're always making new ones. Uh-huh. Yep. Dude, I might have all the fucking ones. Joes. Dude, the new Joes are so they finally got a Storm Shadow, like cartoon, like old school right. accurate. Like I they got, had I the got Storm that. Shadow, but they didn't have like this is the Storm Shadow. This is my Storm Shadow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got one of those on pre-order. <laughs> I got a handful of those Joes. That's a fucking cool one. They're really well made. They're cool yeah. looking. You know, Fucking it seems detail. like they finally figured out their distribution problems. I'm going to have a weapon day and just lay them all out. Fucking prime them all and just go to town. Nice. Beautiful. What you got, nice? All right. Tell me about them toys, boys. Uh, I do want to shout out the HasLab Rancor because... I fucking love talking about toys, you guys. You know. Well, that... I mean, but you, you look at the fucking... Batman who laughs with with that comes with nineteen robins and that's forty bucks. Get your shit together, Haslab. Mm-hmm. You know, so much of uh, October to November was dedicated to hoping that that Haslab Rancor got funded, but it didn't. But I'll always remember the time that we had where we might get a Rancor and then we didn't. Uh, did I have another shout out? They should just make it. Oh, and so they should. They should. I it's like also a, like a like a fuck. We fucked up. Gesture of apology. We will just make it and release it. Mm-hmm. Or make it. We gotta build a figure. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. All right. But you can't have like it. Uh, it'd be cheating if they fucking hid hid the build a figure behind five more labs. That's fucked up. Oh, you got to do five has labs to build yeah. Rancor. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucked up with that. Like, we're already. At- I remember. I remember early on in the Hasbro Marvel Legends era, they did Fin Fang Foom. Like, oh, that's cool. And they're like, yeah, he's gonna be across two waves. Like, yeah, sons of bitches. And <laughs> the waves were some of the suckiest Hulk figures. Just the worst toys. Yeah, <laughs> like just the worst fucking figures. The guy Terrible. in marketing was like, I got a way to get rid of all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's that the thing Wendigo. where it's almost like, why do you make these shitty toys? 
Like you don't have to fill out yeah, waves. Like who are they with... for? Yeah, the, those, um, early, those early Armadillo. days of Marvel Legends. Yeah, the, the, the early Armadillo Hasbro. build of figures yeah. is, is awesome. And I was like, oh, I might get this for Will. Like, I'll just buy all the figures and build this. And then, like, one of them is, like, old man J. Jonah Jameson. Like, I don't... <laughs> what the fuck would I do with that? Like... Oh, we would find some, something to do with old man J. Jonah Jameson. Well, not Will. He wouldn't. <laughs> He'd yeah. be like, why do I want this? Send him to us. Well, that's, like, the original wave of Marvel Legends when it's, like, Toad. <laughs> Who the fuck wants yeah. Toad? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a very good point. It is a uh, it is a legitimate legacy of one at least what the fuck character from the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> like, See, I don't fuck. agree. Maybe Toad should have been like third or fourth wave, but he was a stalwart member of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. He was a I wouldn't say an A lister villain, but up there. Yeah, but you're coming in hot with what? Was Iron Man, Captain America, the Hulk? And Toad? Uh, was it a four-figure yeah. wave? It might it was just a four figure wave. Was, yeah. yeah. Giant Man came out at some point, like, very soon after. Yeah. And he was shitty. Because well, he was tall. That's all you really yeah, need but, like, to be he a good giant But he didn't figure. have, like, the articulation of the other figures. It was really weird. He yeah, had, like, the weird, like, he five tall articulation. He was quite tall. I remember getting that Spider-Man classic Spider-Man that was, like, super poseable. After being out of the game for a while and just being amazed by just the engineering of it. Like, they can yeah. do this with toys now? Well, and they, they did that new Spider-Man last... Hell, it might have been last year. That could have made my list, actually. The the cartoon, the the retro card back Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Like, that thing's incredible. Like, and that's another one of those. Where it's like, oh, yeah, this is the engineering you can do for you know 22 bucks, whatever the fuck, you know? And then... You know, right away went back to releasing Spider Man to that old bullshit body. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Do this one. <laughs> like, yeah. you, you, yeah. you showed us you can do this one. I don't, I'm not going to get another one with this one because <laughs> you, you showed us the new one. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Okay. I just went on Wikipedia to make sure that the original wave was Captain America, Hulk, Iron Man, and Toad. And apparently, the Toad was a leftover from an unreleased evolution of x-men 2 pack mm. that makes a lot of sense yep because yeah wave what two is, is then dr doom the doombot chase figure uh human torch namor and the thing like that makes sense so oh. again the guy in marketing was like i know how we can fucking get rid of this <laughs> yep <laughs> I guess we'll just throw all these Ray Park figures in the fucking trash <laughs> yeah. and, throw, and throw these not Ray Park Toads in with these cool ones. Yeah, yeah, come on. Toad was in that first X-Men movie. Give him a break. Yeah. He's got a wicked tongue. Wave three no, was tongue. Daredevil, uh, Ghost Rider, Magneto, Thor, and that sweet-ass Wolverine that came uh, with the yeah, Hellfire that... Club guard base. Mm. Yeah, yeah that, that Daredevil was some bullshit, though. <laughs> Fucking horrible. That was the movie one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that one was not good. And I remember I ordered it, I pre-ordered it on the internet in the early, early days of the internet because the image that that they put up with it was the one for that 12-inch tall, what was called Marvel Studios Daredevil. Oh, okay. I ended up also getting that because it was fucking awesome. That's when they had, like, you know, the leather costume and shit like that. Like, it was really cool. So imagine... Teenage Lee opening up a box and finding that barrel chested piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, and, like, you know, you're going back, you're looking at pictures on, on the internet going, okay, this is this is definitely not what I ordered. <laughs> like, what the fuck happened here? Like, that movie Daredevil know. had, like, no articulation to it, too. It was oh, weird. It was horrible. Like, it doesn't make any sense, like, in the grand scheme of things. Like, it's fucking beyond bizarre. Yeah. Uh, Mahoney, the G Goliath was wave four. Okay. That was the only figure in that wave I didn't get. The rest of them were Beast, Electra, Gambit, and Punisher. Oh, the Beast old. and the Gambit were my first two, like, getting back into Marvel Legends. Those are great. The Punisher is does not fucking awesome, all. too. Yeah. yeah. That's still my Punisher. Like, they have, that, Mahoney gave me that one, and I haven't got a new one. What was the next round? Because I don't. That might have been my last go of it. Wave five 
was Blade, Colossus, Mr. Fantastic, Nick Fury, Red Skull, Sabretooth, and Silver Surfer with Howard the Duck. Yeah, and then after that is where they started kicking in the Build-A-Figures, I would assume. I think so. Now, Build-A-Figures started in Wave 9. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's amazing dork. the ridiculous bullshit that I remember. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 wave nine, wave nine. So uh, my uh, other shout out before I get to my years. proper list is you guys remember when Gina Carano got canceled and I made like $100 <laughs> off of the Cara Dune action figure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm so glad I went back through my phone camera before the show tonight to just kind of refresh my memory on toys of the past year and i saw that cara dune figure i'm like oh yeah this is getting a shout out for sure for sure all right my list proper i'm gonna start out with this lego discovery space shuttle and uh hubble telescope uh we Fuck yeah lego st- uh it was you know it, it was 200 300 dollars whatever <clears throat> and when we got it, it was like, okay, we can't buy more Legos until we like build everything that we've currently got. <laughs> uh, we built the Hubble telescope on our anniversary and then fell off for a while and then picked back up the space shuttle like around fall time and finished that. It was very cool. It's got, you know, it all opens up and it's got the Canada arm in there. You can dock the Hubble telescope inside of it. It's That's wild. Cool. Really cool. I always love building Legos when you, you're building something. You're like, what the, what, the, what the fuck is this? And then you're done. Like, oh, this is a crazy moving part I was not expecting to right. exist. How yeah. cool. Uh, and then, okay, here's a close-up of the Hubble telescope when we uh, oh, that's rad. built it fucking seven months ago. Fuck yeah. That's uh, awesome. I have not opened this yet, but when I saw the pre-order go up for it, I... I you know, I was a a big G.I. Joe guy as a kid, but I wasn't really diving headfirst into this G.I. Joe classified line, especially once I saw the problems with distribution and all that. But when they announced this figure, it all came back to me like that he was one of my favorite figures of the original Real American Hero line, and that's this this honk barbecue. Fuck yeah. <laughs> He's so cool, and like having him yeah, in I- hand... Just, I got him just out of a whim at a Target. Like, oh, this thing's fucking rocks. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> cool. I, I, as a kid, I guess I never realized he was one of my favorites. But seeing him go up, I was like, okay, yep, sold. Put it in my cart right now. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and then my number four, I'm gonna lump in. All of my Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary Series figures. Nice. I started they out really with... are good figures. Tomato They're very head. cool toys. Yeah, they got some drawbacks here. Like, the, the hinged fingers are dumb, especially in a line where characters are supposed to hold guns. But the fact that Tomato Head came with the alternate, like, warrior Tomato Head head <laughs> was great. And I was, you know, this was Pizza Wall era, so I was, I was big into the pizza cutter and the whole... The whole vibe of Tomato Head. <laughs> like, I was high into tomatoes at the time. Hell yeah. And then for the longest time, I was like, you know what? I don't like I don't like the design of Beef Boss. I don't really like him. And then Mahoney sent me the skin on Fortnite. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. I guess I, don't, I admit. I don't need the toy, though. And then just one day, I come home with the Beef <laughs> Boss toy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's fun. He's fun. They come with a lot, man. There's a good value in those Fortnite figures. Like they come with a lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot of accessories. Uh, I got uh, Peely, Fuck and like, then yeah, Peely. one of my favorite things about the Fortnite Legendary series, you know, they they're wrapping it up because the license went to Hasbro. Is they put out these fucking arcade cabinets <laughs> that rules? Like That's super cool. We all we we have grand plans to do all kinds of dioramas and photo shoots with figures and stuff like that so i was like okay 14 dollars for a six inch scale arcade cabinet that which you cool. could take the back off of it and store weapons and shit in it nice and like all the art is just stickers so like 
I could make my own arcade cabinet. Anything. Yeah. yeah. Could do like an old Space Invaders, Ninja Turtles, whatever. It's great. You know how to it, do stickers. It's amazing. Uh, my number three is going to go out to McFarlane Toys as a whole, but specifically all the great fucking deals I've gotten on McFarlane no figures. Yeah. This Mandarin Spawn and Gorilla Grodd, two big, chunky action figures. I'm pretty sure I paid ten dollars total Damn. for the two of these, and then yeah, I got Grodd for seven bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was like it was, it was ten, fifteen dollars, and then again I got probably like seven each. The Drowned and Red Sun Superman for fifteen dollars total. Like I didn't tell my wife that I purchased these, but when they came in, I was like, okay, let me show you the fucking bargain I got. Like I wouldn't I have, remember the day you debated it for yeah. a good long time. I I would not have bought either of these figures on their own for full price. Like they're cool looking figures, but for seven dollars, you better believe I will get these cool looking figures. <laughs> I'll do something with them. I don't give a yeah, shit. There's been so many times where I go to a Walmart and all I have is like forty five drowned. <laughs> Well, that must be why I got such a good deal on him. Uh, but, like, when we talked to Toddy Mac at Toy Fair, he says, you want to give him quality, you want to give him a shitload of plastic, and you want to give him a, a good price. And, like, come on. You know, my first new era McFarlane figure was that Devastator, which is this huge hunk of plastic for 20 bucks, And that seems like a deal. And that's, you know retail price so you better believe yeah, they're really nice they're doing a great job there was one night around like black friday or or during the christmas shopping season where one of the sites had a bunch of deals going on and they had battle cat anthony hopkins odin uh and a couple other just rando figures and they were all like five dollars a piece <laughs> and i had to convince myself that i don't need an Odin or a Battle Cat at that point. <laughs> at that price, that Odin figure is fucking a yeah. steal. And it's back up to twenty three dollars now. But like And I think when it came out it was close to forty. Well it was probably twenty, twenty five, because it was it's one of those Marvel Studios commemorative. Yeah, they figures. think they think really highly of those for some reason. Uh another one that I have not opened, but uh it's it's one of my big toy purchases of the year, you know, every year, uh, NECA loves taking two hundred dollars out of my wife's wallet. <laughs> uh, so we got this uh, Channel Six four pack, which not only does it have some characters that I needed to kind of complete my set, but it comes with all these fucking accessories, these goddamn TV cameras, That's boom cool. pole. All this shit, like I don't give a shit that April is a cat because I've got April, but I I needed an Irma, Irma. I needed a burn. I needed you needed that sex pest. Two, yeah, I needed two <laughs> giant sex channel six hmm. fucking news cameras. Uh, it's really the cameras cool. are pretty fucking cool. Yeah, the cameras and the lights, I really like that. You got my brain turning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You show me a figure that comes with a video camera, I'm buying it. <laughs> buying it on the spot. I got that Marty McFly. Come on. Get out of here. And then uh finally, this was this this one came in late. Uh I like my my big comic book event that got me into comic books was Age of Apocalypse. Like, it was so cool at the time, and and an, kind of an easy jumping on point for a new reader, but not really. But always loved the stories and the character designs. And they did a previous line of Marvel Legends, uh, uh, Age of Apocalypse, where you could build Sugar Man. And I was like, oh, man, that's really cool. Uh, but that was a year ago or so. And then they released this new line which with build a figure colossus and it's got like the a-listers in it magneto rogue 
Sabretooth. Not that Weapon X isn't an A-lister over here. Uh, but I'm like, okay, I'm eventually going to own all of these. So I'm just biding my time. <laughs> I was just waiting. Just waiting for like Christmas, Black Friday sales. And I tell you what, uh, out of all these, and not shown is Blink, which was not in either of these lines, but I also did pick that up. I got, let's see, that's seven figures and a -a Build-A-Figure. So 14 figures, two Build-A-Figures in the span of like three weeks, I completed my entire Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse set for under retail price. Nice. Uh, And I'm super excited to open them up. Uh, You know, some of them were sales. Uh, Dark Beast I had to get off of eBay. Uh, I completed the Colossus set thanks to the Mahoney's hooking me up. I was just, I was waiting on Sabretooth, Legion, and I think Shadowcat to kind of go on sale. And Mahoney said, fuck that. (laughs) (laughs) I send you them all. My favorite thing about this wave, (laughs) these two waves or whatever, is that like, they all look great. They look great together because Goat's got the whole, got the whole series too, and it's like, like there's a person out there who's like their only shit. Like, their only shit for X Men is Age of Apocalypse. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like that person exists, and so like you could get these, and then in theory be done and just have this kick ass. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it wasn't like an Age of Apocalypse wave. Oh, and also fucking here's Richter. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like right, they they, right, right. Did, they were just age of a Th- throwing they a were, rando, they were dedicated waves, like really yeah, really well. Legion is done. the closest to rando that they got. Yeah, well, um, I mean, he was the impetus then. for Age of Apocalypse. Well, yeah, I I know that, but also like, <laughs> who who cares? Like, right. Who needs him? You know, it's like Pajama Man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so play. You had shared which ones you were missing, and I was like, well, I mean, this Colossus is awesome. Like, you got to finish Colossus. And so I'm out there looking on Amazon, and I'm like, well, goddamn, I can find everybody but Shadowcat, because all they have is this weird-ass, short-haired Jean Grey. And then after about 20 minutes of looking at her, I was like, oh, no, no, that is Shadowcat. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) The Shadowcat and Jean Grey designs are very similar. Yeah. Man, I am so excited to open all these suckers up. Yeah, they're great. Really, really cool. Oh, and that's kind of a crazy bonus. If you have the vintage... Age of Apocalypse Iceman, his crazy foot and hand effects work on this one. Oh, don't tell me that. That's right. true. Don't tell me that. That's I'm going to have to pick one up. Also, don't I'm tell Jose about his crazy feet effects because he's already <laughs> horny. So hard. So I was trying to think about who are they missing? I mean, obviously, Holocaust. Um. Okay, there, there's a bunch more that are missing because did you get the did you get the apocalypse? I did like get the, the apocalypse, apocalypse last year okay, on okay. A, a Black Friday sale. Okay, so yeah, they could do another wave. They could do Gambit, Jubilee, Bishop, Quicksilver, Nightcrawler. Because this is what I want. This is what I want to do. I want this as of my course, display. Yeah. yeah, they could do another blink, like a proper blink. Right, because the hair is not blink. quite right. Yeah. So they could do it. Make Holocaust a build a figure. They probably oh, I'm will. sorry. Nemesis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. Now, take us home, honey. What you got? All right. So the first item on my list, Nides laughed at. But let me tell you, this was one of the coolest things I saw this year. So my daughter got this for Christmas. It is, I don't know what it's called. It's some what kind of fuck? cauldron. No, listen, listen. Okay. It's an actual cauldron, right? Okay. And it comes with all these, like, mix-ins. There's, like, liquids and powders and all this shit that you have to dump into the cauldron and stir around and do all this stuff with. And it legitimately starts to bubble and smoke and, like, create a mixture. And then as you go through the whole process, eventually the cauldron starts shaking. And then this toy, like, pops out of it. Okay. And I was like, you know what? That is a really cool experience. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's fucking cool. I take it back. It sounds amazing. Mm-hmm. If you look in the cauldron and it's just an empty bucket, you mix in all this shit, a bunch of smoke comes out of it, and there's a toy inside. I'm like, that's fucking awesome. I would love that if that I was a kid. That is pretty cool. How'd they do it? 
I have no idea. <laughs> no idea at all. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sorcery. Yeah, basically. It's like actual children magic. So it was really cool. I was very impressed. When she wanted it, I was like, who, who cares? Like, whatever. But then when I saw it in action, I was like, okay. Let's get another one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. money's like, are there nine more of these? Do we get nine more? I think we need yeah. nine more. <laughs> yeah. We how many characters do they come as? We would have seen this at Toy Fair and lost our shit. Oh yeah, probably. we absolutely yeah. would have. It would have been a Harry Potter cloak moment. Yeah, yeah, you would have been like, <laughs> check this thing out. You have to get it the minute it comes out. It was wild. Um, I don't remember my order, so next slide, please. All right. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Neca Goliath <laughs> is so cool. He's so cool. Um, the wings are awesome. The, like, everything about him is great. I was the same as you, Lee. The minute he was on sale for pre-order, I was like, I have to have this. I don't care about the details. Just deliver this to my house as soon as you can. <laughs> and when he showed up, I was like, this is fucking great. It was very exciting. Yeah, love the gargoyles all show. All of his good guy friends. All of yeah. his good guy friends got to go. I want the robots. That's what yeah. I want. I don't even care about the rest of the the gargoyles. Give me the the cold steel people or whatever. Would they have the like steel clan metal gargoyles? Yeah, the bad guy yeah. makes robot gargoyles to fight them. Oh, simple. Yeah. So give me so robot Goliath. Robot. Yeah, robot Goliath essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It bums me out that the next figure in the line is just a repaint of this one. Oh, Thalog? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, he's literally even... just a repaint of this one. Yeah, it's lazy. Yeah, but the thing is too, like, but it's not even like Thalog's iconic look from the show. He has that armor on. And so it's yeah. not even that. Yeah. No, it's just a full on lazy repaint. I mean Thalog is a full on lazy character, so it's Yeah, works. that's true. His name is just Goliath backwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These kind of. figures are so good. It makes me thankful that Gargoyles is not a huge deal to me. Because oh, <laughs> you have another problem. Yeah. You, I mean, be. you think about it. They showed you all the headshots of all those gargoyles. And that, that's and they all look cool. There's at least they're coming out with at least eight of these. I'm like, OK. Oh, no. Yeah. I can't get into another <laughs> turtle situation. Yeah. I just remember well, when the box came from Big Bad and you like you. You grab like the like you know you open it up and so you have just the box of Goliath. You're like, fuck, this is heavy. It's yeah, like, heavy. There's a lot yeah. going on here. That was my thing too. Is I was like, I'm gonna get this one. I am not going to get all of them. Like I know they'll all come out. I said that the about first, the what if figures. <laughs> the first comment on the thing online when they came out with it was some dude being like, "Are you gonna make oh any more God. of them?" Like, no, they're done. They're just making one Goliath, and that's it. No matter how well it sells, they're all done. Like, idiot. <laughs> but I don't want any more. I can't get any more. I do want the robot. That's all I want. I mean, no, it, I, it has been I, scientifically proven that uh, NECA consumers are some of the dumbest fucking people on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why Randy's the way he is. Maybe. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. What if, like, ten years ago, he was a super nice guy? <laughs> They he got, he got joke out of the time. You can understand that. All right, next slide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Disney toy box action figures are great. Yeah, I love really these are. designs. I love these styles. They came out with really amazing ones this year. All around their Disney Plus shows, primarily there was a um, there's the Vision and the Scarlet Witch here. There was a Falcon, Oops. Captain America, and a Bucky. There was a Loki. Um, they did not do Hawkeye and other Hawkeye, which is pretty annoying, but you know, that's fine. Maybe they're still there. waiting on it or something. Yeah. Um, but I love just that they're in that, you know, that Disney infinity style when that, that hasn't existed for years, but they're yeah. like, Hey, look, they looked cool. Let's keep that part going Yeah, because they really didn't look great. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's essentially what happened is they were like, we don't want to lose the designs but we don't want to make these video game things anymore. So and it's wild because articulation. They're they're cartoony, but they're good little figures. Yeah, they're solid. Oh yeah, shout out! I got one of those the dis the Mandalorian ones like that at the clearance mm -hmm. section. It, it was Mando, fucking uh, cancel me, Dune. No, no, no. This is different. <laughs> these are like a four or five inch. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, these okay. these are bigger. You're thinking of the like the, the galactic about. heroes. Yeah. Those okay. I don't love. Those are too flimsy. Those I have to say, Mahoney yeah. thinks your toy is a piece of shit. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, but you I hate flimsy you. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, you dusty bitch. <laughs> Uh, uh, Mary and I got the Wreck It Ralph and Vanellope when they came out way back when, and like, j- I just got that little taste, and I was like, "Oh, I want to collect these so bad." I just couldn't get her on board. Well, you got a taste. <laughs> got that little taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had at one. They had a it was a Disney store outlet at the mall, and they had some kind of a sale going on, like buy two get one free or some shit like that. And I had like a stack of Avengers in my hand, and I'm like, you know, you can't do this, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you shouldn't do this. The you problem got a tastely. Yeah. The problem is, if you don't get them, like the, you can't. You'll never. Like, see they're them gone again. for the rest of your life. You know. Really? It's yeah, one of those. I, feel, I feel that way about that fucking uh, Infinity War, Captain America with the broken shield. There we go. There oh we go. yeah. Yeah, like that's you that one I it. sat on. I thought about it, thought about it, and it's gone forever. You Oof. see it, you grab it. It's awesome, but you pass on it. Like that thing is off the market, and it's you know five times the price on eBay. And you're like, yep. okay. So wild the stuff that has that, and some stuff just does not. Right. <laughs> so weird. Uh, this right, uh, Scarlet Witch Vision two pack comes with a free Evanescence CD. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, me yo. Why the hands so big? That's the whole That's style. The style, yeah, yeah. Her hands are titty bitty. <laughs> Her hands are what now? Titty bitty. Ah, uh, okay. Moving now on. You heard right. You heard <laughs> right. Yeah, motherfuckers, titty bitty. <laughs> Next slide. Next slide. <laughs> the Lego blind bags of all the Marvel characters. Uh, oh, like what a fucking okay. time to be alive. Yeah. It's wild. Like, are you kidding me that there is a white vision Lego figure? Like, <laughs> what? Uh, white vision, black Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Spider Man. You know, I do think it's kind of bullshit that we didn't get an episode with Thanos, uh, Gamora. Uh, well, we were supposed to. It got. It did. They didn't finish it. They didn't draw it. Oh, is uh, that true? Yeah, it was. They did it. They like recorded it, I think, but they never finished the animation because of COVID. Oh man, there's a That's... whole bunch of toys. Thanos, Gamora was with. There's like a Stark. Hulk Buster, like in the like Planet Hulk style, um, Sakaar. Yeah, they'll or do it in season two. Yeah, and like all of those characters were in that episode, and they're in the final episode, right? And they were like, "Whoops, we never finished drawing it." It's supposed <laughs> to be like episode three, so weird. Oh well. Yeah, bringing Thanos Gamora into that like finale of What If would be kind of like if in Spider Man No Way Home they were just like, "Oh, and here's Craven." <laughs> yeah. Like and here's another Spider Man who we just never got around to making the movie on. <laughs> uh Leonardo DiCaprio Spider Man. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, telling you exactly. I should have had Nick from New Girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd have been great. It had him be like full on CGI. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Alright, I don't know what number we're on. What's what's Two. Up next? Okay. Next this thing, I got this for Christmas for Will. It's that same Disney toy box style. And so I got that Iron Man Hall of Armor thing like last year or something. Mm-hmm. I, that thing was shitty. I hated that. I was so annoyed with that thing. And so I was skeptical about this. But he had specifically asked me for Peter Parker. He was like, I want Spider-Man, but not in his costume. And then like two weeks later, I saw this thing and I was like, okay. Because I had the animated Peter Parker when I was little, and I thought that was awesome. Right. It was like, yeah. all right. Like, I get it. So, sure. I think I still have that somewhere, actually. <laughs> yeah. It's a cool toy. And it was the perfect thing yeah. for, like, oh, no, they're robbing a bank. This this bystander has been attacked, you know? Like, 
It was the perfect thing to like rescue. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to get this. And it showed up and it's fucking great. Like it has the little tube where you can put Spider-Man in and you put, you know, Peter Parker climbs in and it spins around and boom, he's Spider-Man. It's got his little spider computer, which Will loves. But then the motorcycle and the spider bot thing. Uh, the motorcycle has wings, but when you take the wings off and attach them to this other little piece it comes with, it turns into a glider, like a goblin glider. Uh, oh, that's so cool. It's like a, it's like a Spider-Man now, style crap. goblin glider. Uh, you can put them on his back if you want to give Spider-Man wings, which, you know, fine, whatever. But then the spider legs can also go on to the little robot thing and become a standalone like spider bot. Or those can go on his back, and he's like uh, Iron Spider Spider Man, and he's just got a That's set of spider rad. arms. Wow! That's rad. Yeah. So it's so, it's so much better than that Iron Man set, which was just a hunk of plastic that you can't even sit, like Iron Man can't stand in it. It came with all these pieces that would clip onto his armor. Not a single one of them fits. Like it's the what? most frustrating toy for a child. Yeah, it was like, oh, here's like. You know, drill armor Iron Man. Like, you attach all these drills to his armor, and he, like, you know, it's like the old uh, Iron Man animated series toys, except that none of the pieces attach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I just have an angry four-year-old who's like, put this shit on his legs. And I'm like, listen, I can't. Like, <laughs> they don't go on his legs. I understand why you think they would, but they don't. Yeah, this picture on the website sure does show them on there. Yeah. But nope. No dice. Nope, they do not. That's fucking annoying. Yeah, super glue. So this I even with that, I don't think it would work. Like one of them, his hand is too big to fit inside of it. It's like put this on. It's a glove, and I'm like, it, it, it's the No. J. Simpson glove. Like he can't get his fucking <laughs> hand in it. Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Did you guys see when I tweeted at OJ this past weekend? You know, yes, it. Uh, and, <laughs> I did. And like moments after I hit send, I was like, oh no, this is a bad idea. <laughs> maybe i shouldn't tweet at a double murderer see i very much believe in the theory that it was his child there's like a younger version of him who has like documented anger issues and uh like Killed everything seems to line up yeah you think that oj's kid murdered yes nicole and ron yes was and this how old was the kid at the time he took, he took the blame i think the kid was like i want to say you know somewhere between 18 and 25 he didn't take no oh, fucking the... blame oh so this isn't a bit you really think this no absolutely absolutely oh, okay the, like huh. look up the theory i'm surprised jose doesn't know about it like there's solid evidence that it was does it have kid. anything to do with a clone nothing to do with a clone but mm. that's why he doesn't like, know the about gloves it. Yeah. being slightly too small like no, yeah, my radar they were the kids like, too small the timeline of the night seems to line up. Like, huh. it's like the kid went there to murder her. OJ went there to stop him and then got there and was like, well, okay. And then even like the whole Bronco chase, like if you line it up, appears to be like a distraction to like let the kid get away. Like, huh. wild. Wild. Yeah. Huh. It's a cool theory. You should Not look into it. too, like, crazy. Right. We should start a true crime podcast. Yeah. Ooh. Don't fucking tip me. <laughs> We're going to go in on the clones? Mm-hmm. It's every fifth episode of the podcast is a crime episode. Yeah, we should do it like the old Mario cartoon where every once in a while it's the Zelda episode. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be awesome. All right. What's my number one? Next slide. The fucking Marvel Legends Hydra Stomper. This thing, you yeah. want to talk about a heavy toy. That's this a thing big is a boy. goddamn brick. It is awesome. I don't I remember it was expensive. I don't remember what I paid for it. It was worth absolutely every penny. If you see one of these out in the wild, you should get it. I'm looking at That's it and I'm like where oh. This could use some paint applications, but then I'm like, no, you know, that was the style of the show. It was kind of animated, right, right. streamlined. Could use yep. some paint applications and, I don't know, maybe 200 more dollars. <laughs> it also has his little backpack, which is, like, not shown in this picture. But, like, his jetpack is part of it. And Marvel Legends Captain Carter can ride on his back. Which is that was awesome. My next question. That's fucking cool. 
Mm-hmm. It's yeah. awesome. Jose, I think you're going to need to get one of these to complete your What If collection. Oh, you you absolutely <sighs> need to get one of these. God damn it, yes. Fuck. But I, I have not seen one in the wild. I did see that double pack of Jebediah Stain and the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yep. Good old Jeb- Jebediah Stain. <laughs> In the iron and the fucking the barefoot monger. Jebediah Stain barefoot just watching monger. Godzilla. Jeb- Jebediah Stain and the barefoot mongers. That's my new Scott. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm oh playing at Zoe's next birthday party. Oh God. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys, I can talk about toys all fucking night. I fucking love talking about toys. Toys are great. Uh, Toys you gonna tell awesome. us about your weekend, Lee? <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we limited it to only us because it's almost one o'clock. Yeah, nice yeah. I have to call this bitch now. Yeah, it's time yeah, to go yeah. to bed. Yeah, it might be time to go. Yeah, All right, tell us about your weekend. Get get out of here, with Lee. I did read a bunch of comics over the break, but uh, I don't want to talk about them. <laughs> it's too late. Too late. Yeah, I don't yeah, really is, have anything worth talking way. about. Yeah, Toys is good. Uh, oh, uh, Letter Kenny's fucking... back, Lee. What season? I know, of... oh, yeah. God damn it, I am so far. They're on, on season, season ten. 10? Uh, Mary and I 10. accidentally watched the season finale first. Oh, oh no! And oh, we're watching sucks. it, and we're like, "Man, we do we do not understand any of this." Like, Letter Kenny needs one of those previously on Letter Kenny things. And then we get to the end of the episode, and we're looking at it, and we're like, oh, no, that was episode six. Yeah, they'll do it. They'll do it real good. And we are yeah, done. Still and then we turned on episode one, and it was like, previously on Letter Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, all solid <laughs> recommendations. Uh, shit that's out now. I would highly recommend the Tidy Max Swamp thing. I just came in. It's really fucking cool. It's got a donk um, on it. Uh, follow big, Preternia big on Twitter because yes, that dude knows all of the good sales. If you want to get some cheap discount figures, that's how, that's how I get like, all my. It, it almost has to be a bot because like he's always posting shit. He can't be a real and, person. But he knows it everything. But, it, but also, like, it it's... doesn't post like a bot though. No, it right? Doesn't. Exactly. It, it's but... personally enough and like conversational enough where it sounds like a person. But I think it's it's just a matter of they know the algorithm or they have like all these searches ready to go and they get alerts. I guess. He's probably in the know now. He's probably got like moles. Everything. Well, like every sale that's every toy that's on sale, every toy that is now available, every toy that's in stock. Like it knows fucking everything. And if you if you do the work, some of the links have hashtag ad on them. So they're definitely getting. Like Amazon affiliate program, they're getting mm. clicks. Oh yeah, which hey, fucking, you got it. Yeah, you're a damn saint, Preternia. On Twitter. speaking of him uh, or them, though. the McFarlane Batman Beyond figures went up on Big Bad Toy Store. Nice. I saw uh, that. I uh, don't want Preternia to change his figure because I think Cumshot He Man is the perfect <laughs> picture for that. <laughs> Oof. It's a, it's a rough picture to look at. <laughs> uh, Listen, all right. If He Man can't take a load all over his body, then <laughs> what's can. the point? That is not. 2022. That is not Cum Shot He Man. That is absolutely Cum Shot. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Tell me that is not He Man <laughs> dripping in cum. I mean, yeah. yeah. I don't know what else it would be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At Paternia.com. Check him out. Give him a follow. Tell him the podcast wow. sent you. Don't yeah. change his picture. <laughs> don't don't tell him that. Tell him his site's amazing. He's doing the Lord's work, but too much cum. Too too much cum in your picture. Like there's got to be okay. a picture with less cum. Come Tuesday, he man. <laughs> come Tuesday. Yeah. Come Tuesday. Fucking. I mean, look how right. happy he man looks. <laughs> we will be back next week with more nonsense. Uh, we'll figure check out the out. Discord. Uh, discord.panelsonpages.com links to everything basically is at panelsonpages.com uh, check out for our YouTube Jason where people notice that the site doesn't exist anymore 
<laughs> no, no, no. That oh, wasn't. Yeah, that's right. They weren't that noticing the that site our site was the down. Video. Yeah. They were noticing that uh, Bunny Van Skyver's site was down. Oh, oh I thought it was the Tales running. on Pages site that was down. Yeah, no, it's like. Up? They all fucking got canceled already, man. Of course their site's not up. <laughs> no. But yeah, no. Uh, it's all at panelsonpages.com. It's all there. Uh, all that good shit. So for Jason Nyes, Jose Gusman, Kelly Harris, and a good buddy, Mahoney. Uh, boy, I could just talk about the toys forever. Uh, <laughs> I'm the Lord Reverend Lee Rodriguez. I'll talk to you guys next week at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central at youtube.com slash panels on pages. Night. Love you. And bye-bye. Google something. Holy shit. You fucking Google ass bitch. I didn't want to say it. What are you, some kind of bitch? Whoa, 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 whoa. You fucking Google ass bitch. Why you keep fucking us, you two? You fucking Google ass bitch. That's it. Show's over. We're done. See you next Tuesday.